Hello, ladies and gentlemen, lady gentlemen, and gentlemanly ladies and in-betweeners. I am your hostess with the mostest here, Alexander Rodriguez, here on the rocks for Celebrities and Cocktails Mix. Tonight, we are heating things up uh, with a hunka hunka burn burning love episode with our models, Topher DiMaggio and Arad. Win-win, two wins, with DJ Shane Steele. I feel like saying Shane Steele. <laughs> with a live performance by Charlene uh, Modeste, spitfire that she is, and my mildly annoying guest co-host, Michael Vega. Mwah! Let the drinks begin! <laughs> And most poor suckers are starving to death. I'd like to propose a toast. This is On the Rocks with Alexander, coming at you from Sunset Gower Studios in the heart of Hollywood, where I drink with your favorite celebrities, and we talk about fashion, entertainment, pop culture, reality TV, and, and that's about it. So pop a court, pour a glass, lean back, and enjoy On the Rocks every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on Universal Broadcasting Network. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Okay, I just have to say that I did not change. Oh, yes, hello, oh, everybody. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Um, I didn't have time to go change my bronzer, so it still has that elf dust. It looks like an elf sat on my face, uh, but that is not the truth. And on top of that, I left a little patch here where I didn't shave all the way to the top. So it looks like I have these like long nose hairs. I don't, people watching live, I don't have these long nose you hairs. You are it dripping so brown right now. Yes, my, my <laughs> Latino-ness is dripping off of me as we speak. I'm actually frozen under here. Uh, He's dripping in C42. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, we did need to buy a new air conditioning for the studio because it's so caliente. It's hot, hot, hot today. Oh, we have so much ethnic goodness in here. Sorry, Shane. Except for me. <laughs> it's like okay. a winter wonderland usually with all of our okay. Caucasian guests. Not today. Today's a little bit spicy. <laughs> We're going to talk about modeling, the adult industry, nightlife, music, everything. Baby craving it. And I'll tell you why baby craving it, why that's a hashtag for tonight. Um, today's show, of course, is sponsored by our mega sponsor, Infusion Beach Club, coming to Palm Springs this summer. It is the place to go. Uh, Vegas luxury and style heading there. I'll be broadcasting from pool parties there. Maybe we'll get some of our friends to come for the pool party. Parties. Go like them on uh, social media, IBC Palm Springs. Hello to our listeners around the nation on iHeartRadio, Universal Broadcasting Network, Player FM, Spreaker, Stitcher, TuneIn, Satchel, iTunes, and of course, we are streaming live on Facebook on Hillcrest Social. Hello, San Diego. Uh, True yeah. FM in Ohio and nationally on the Reverie Network. Hello. And we're now being broadcast to Russia. We're leaking the show to Russia. He Mama. said that. Uh, he said all of that in yeah. one breath. <laughs> that was yeah. literally I'm a professional. Yes. Well, I have to make up. You guys come in. There's like a cloud of uh, patience. That's what I like to say. I have to make up for that. You're, you got the sunglasses on. You're like... Hello, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm like, what <laughs> happening? What do we have to say after that? <laughs> <laughs> My mom, Mama Rose, is in the chat room. She's at ubnradio.com. She's answering all your questions. She has done research on our guests, which this week was like, whoa! <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> you, <laughs> let, you let your mom do that? <laughs> hey, <laughs> she raised me. She knows what's going on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not the same thing. <laughs> if, if you are a fan and you have a burning question, you can call in. Uh, the call-in number is 323 284 Seven eight two six, or you can write on ubnradio.com. And if it's a burning question, my mom will Skype in with your question. And we'll answer it live here, and she'll recommend an ointment. Yep, <laughs> yes, <laughs> she's been through it. Poor mom. <laughs> uh, speaking of mom, so this last Sunday was Mother's Day. Um, look for my very moving article in Barrel World Magazine. I'm the entertainment editor, and I wrote a whole article about my mom and her loud chewing. <laughs> it was so <laughs> sentimental. Um, but you guys, it was like a social media beauty contest with everybody yeah. posting their mom's pictures, yep. yeah. wasn't it? It's like, oh. I didn't. <laughs> From like 1960. Yes. Well, and you know, some people in our community are very beautiful. Doesn't always go down the generations. <laughs> <laughs> I feel terrible. I didn't. I didn't call her. You didn't, I didn't, post anything. I didn't post anything. And you look just like I, your mom. I mean, you could have just did. put your own picture up and been like, "Hey, <laughs> my mom's beautiful." Well, that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On most of my Instagram pictures, all the boys are like, "Happy Mother's Day." It is a selfie of them still, oh. like with flowers or just the caption <laughs> said, "Happy Mother's Day." But, bitch, you're just. With naked again, which I don't mind. That's why I'm following you. But I guess it's like their like, mom is like, like the this corner of the picture. In the picture. Yeah. No, they're not even in the picture. Or, or she's in like, a casket in the back. It's like a selfie. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, okay. Well, that's one thing that annoys me about some of those posts is you know the post will say, "Oh, look at this great sandwich," or "Look at this." Great or I'm building. feeding the homeless. And it's that's just a picture. One. Yeah, and it's just a picture of them. 
I don't mind it. Show I follow me the everybody. Homeless. I love it. Show no. me the sandwich. I want to see lower. the sandwich. Yeah, but some moms are like Glamazons, and some were like Samuel L. Jackson in a wig. It's like, what's happening out there? <laughs> and then. Too Wong Fu. Yes, he takes off this yes. damn plane. Yes, it's like, oh, Wesley Snipes, go back to jail. Yes. Um, but, and then some of the posts were like, my mom made me who I am today. And I'm like, bitch, you are a crack <laughs> meth head. Can't pay rent. What do you mean your mom made you who you are today? Rude. Um, <laughs> Rude. <laughs> um, anyway, but our thoughts do go out to all the mothers out there, everyone who has no. had to play mom. Uh, a, a mothering role. Also, to those people mom, that have lost changed. their mothers. Hi, mom. Um, and all that. My mom got an iPhone, by the way. Da, 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 da. Turn his microphone up. Topher wants to be heard, Tony. No, I think something went off. Oh. Oh, <laughs> is it your Pardon headphone? Me. Uh, am I off? <laughs> oh, God. I can hear you, bitches. <laughs> It's that cloud of smoke. It broke your, your headphones. <laughs> your bronzer made it to this side of the table. <laughs> Fairy dust. <laughs> it's a river brown. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, last live week. live for the very first time in my yeah. life. Actually, you have some? Um, this last week, I attended the Reverie Out Web Fest uh, opening oh. night on Friday. Um, I literally got kicked off the red carpet. Because <laughs> there was a long line. I don't hate to wait in long lines. Um, Why? Um, so I bumped ahead, right? And then I didn't realize all the commotion. I thought they were making a big commotion about me, you know, because of my ego. It was Gigi Gorgeous was like, Ooh. they brought her on and she was there and I didn't, I didn't really know who she was. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, so I'm playing with her, whatever. And they're, they're like, they kicked me off the red carpet. So there's no red carpet pictures. But I did stalk Ricky Rebel in the bathroom. There's a picture there. <laughs> he literally was in the bathroom. I'm like, I want one picture from this. Look at him. Even in the bathroom, he's still like, strike a pose. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the only picture I have from every opening night. Um, but it was, it was well attended. Attended. Uh, Michael, uh, speaking of your yes. pictures, you know, we have very fashion minded people here. I need to know. We have this picture that, that I what, snagged what from you when you were a little kid. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Hey, mom's listening. So, mom, you answer that one. What is this I, outfit? I had every silk shirt known to man. Silk well, you, you do now. It's big, like do, history repeats itself. Yeah. It's like a camouflage shirt but, or something. <laughs> Here, here's the thing that really worries me. Look at my hands. I have the biggest hands in that picture. They're like, uh, they're like oven mitts. You were like Teen Wolf. No, but yeah, literally. Exactly. But big Michael, hands, big hair. You have outfits like this in your closet right now. <laughs> that but I that borrowed hair. from you. <laughs> <laughs> taking them in, taking them way in. Wow. <laughs> wow. Liberace's 97 today, by the way, if he was still alive. <laughs> um, but the hair. So you obviously, you guys had a Tupperware bowl because <laughs> that's that's how you cut your hair. Tony, okay. show, show the picture. Um. And and Yikes. my mother was a hairdresser at the time too. You know, she used to blow dry <laughs> I my hope her hair. Customers kept she the receipts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. She's listening. Oh, good job, mom. <laughs> <laughs> she blew dry my hair <laughs> until I was a senior in high school. She made every, you gay every morning. Her hair techniques Absolutely. made you gay. I would gay. sit in the chair and just I would get my hair done <laughs> until I was like eighteen. Hey, what man says I got my hair done? <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> As he, le as he lets it down. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> if you can see him. Ca cask People say, yeah, down cask my I got my fade done, not I got my hair done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael. I went I to the salon, go. gotta do. <laughs> um, anyway, you are going to give us a little review. Um, who, who here is a Star Wars nerd? Me. I like me. Well, not I'm a Star Wars not. fan, but I don't know what it means to be nerd. Okay. I don't dress up and like follow things, but <laughs> I'm, I've watched every one of them. So say whatever that means. Okay, okay. Uh, but there's, there's, there, there's two different types of Star Wars fans. There's the new ones that are like, oh, you know. They know nothing. Yeah, it's all like CGI. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm like the OG Star Wars with Luke Skywalker, yeah. the puppets that they used, and like the actually blue stuff. Mild up. incest. Yes, and now they're using CGI dead people to like <laughs> be the actors. It's like, how far are we going to go? That's anyway, the they opened up this restaurant in uh, Los Angeles. It's, well, it's, it's, it's more a of a bar than a, than you a restaurant. It. Okay, so like back in October on Facebook, there was this post about uh, the scum and villainy cantina in That's Hollywood. That's the t-shirt you were wearing. I didn't yes, know what it was. I was yes. like, oh, that was just like your band name. <laughs> and it, it's just a pop-up <laughs> bar. We're supposed to be there just for a couple of months. And my best friend in San Francisco, he, he saw it and he automatically bought tickets. So made a trip here in April to, to go to the bar. Where, uh, where, where is it? It is, I wrote the address down, 6377 Hollywood Boulevard. That means and nothing sort of, to me. Hollywood Boulevard is like 10 and, miles long. Hollywood and like before Wilcox or Faircox oh, or whatever. I know that corner. Cox, <laughs> just somewhere before the Cox. I know that Cox. corner, okay. <laughs> you just kind of go in the alley. But I mean, it's, 
they're not affiliated with Disney, of course, because yeah. that takes some balls. Can't they just be shut down? No, because there isn't right. really any any actual you know connection. It's it, it's up to the the customers and the patrons to come in and make it what it is. Okay. So it sort of resembles and and gives you the feel of the the Moss Eisley Cantina in Star Wars, and it was a hell of a lot of fun. Like with the I mean, music and stuff too. Yeah. Well, they play. I mean, they don't put that on repeat because that would be that would drive you insane. Well, yeah. But they play they would play like craft work and and Z Stardust and so it was all, you know, space themed Ethereal. music. Yeah, and they did a lot with lighting and and smoke and so it just gives you that whole feel. That, did people like dress up as the characters yes. like that served you? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I was in kind of Luke Skywalker garb and I had Yoda on You my were in your pajamas, girl. <laughs> 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 they even had well, the feetsy this, still on. What do you mean? Skywalker Luke Skywalker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that the, those are the lazy <laughs> Star Wars people are like they wear a sheet and they're like, I'm a Jedi. Bitch, no, you're lazy is what you are. <laughs> but here Put was, on some armor and call it a, like, There was the a plan. reason because we were going to do a bar crawl and I didn't want to wear something. In your something. Star Wars outfit? <laughs> well, yeah, but I wanted something that would, you crawl You crawled in a bed after that. That's all we know. With Yoda <laughs> on my back. I saw that picture, by the way. That picture, by the way. <laughs> Which one? That was taken in a hotel room, by the way, so you did not go home. My, I know my, for sure. No, my, my best friends, they are husbands and they were staying at the W, so we stopped there to like refresh oh, and then go back that. out. Okay. All right. Yeah. But do you see how well, like, I'm such a stalker. I knew that you took that picture in the hotel. I'm like, that's <laughs> not his house. It's clean for once. <laughs> oh, here comes the. Mm. Yeah. So, what's the food like? Is it, do they do like. It's bar fare, you know, okay. like, like tater tots and quesadilla. Do they have like fun names, names like, like, like yeah, Yoda balls or something? Well, I, I, I don't think they can say that on oh, the okay. menu, but, you know, they can suggest it, you know, space balls and things like that. That's funny. Yes. Yes! Yes, yes. yes Gaga! Yes. <laughs> so it was good. Now, yeah. was, was it well priced? Was it overpriced? No, no, no. It was really cheap. I mean, the tickets initially were $50, but that included the entry, and you get a little swag when you go out, you know, an etched glass and a medallion that you can use to go back. You are so excited about this medallion. <laughs> you are, love You're using it medallion. in your role play. You're like a Friday night. <laughs> medallion's <laughs> coming out! I got my medallion. Right, before but, sex, can I use my medallion? <laughs> <laughs> before <laughs> what? You have to, you have to <laughs> remind them of what that word is. But we had, we had a lot of fun. I met, you know, Princess Leia and, and um, I didn't find the droids I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Something plugged in. <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 Too easy. Oh. <laughs> Too easy. Any guy that gets his hair done and has to remind a guy about his medallion <laughs> yeah. before sex is not. Is definitely <laughs> a nerd. <laughs> and that's all in his grinder, by the way, too. <laughs> Just that. First two sentences on his IG. <laughs> <laughs> Public figure, 800 followers. <laughs> Bitch, where? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Official. Oh, no, I love you, Mike. No, I love you, Mike. I'm just kidding. Don't make me come over there. I know. <laughs> so <laughs> you recommend it? I do. I recommend it highly. I mean, uh, when, when we were there, it was a little, it was early, and so it wasn't as busy. You know, towards the weekends, I would say, because I've seen a lot of pictures, and so it's filled with it people like doing out, cosplay. Um, I think it's like $20 at the door now. Just go to Scum and Villainy Cantina on Facebook, and it'll tell you whether I'm tickets go. are available. You should. We should go Like, I'm a real back. fan. OG fan. And you know what was really cool is not everybody was in sort of Star Wars garb. They, you know, I saw pictures with people in Star Trek or no, you know, or no, you can't mix them. No, they all live in the same. We're I'm all a people. Like, more we are than all people. We live in the same universe. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry about it. No, we don't. Um, but we are going to talk about nightlife tonight, and you have some experience. What are some of the do's and don'ts when you're dealing with your bartender? And I've done all the don'ts, I know. Because usually <laughs> when I see you, by the time I see you, I'm, you're I'm gone. Incoherent. I, I'm you incoherent. I'm on a different planet. You just have this grin on your face. and it, it's, it's either the grin or it's the frown, and you know which way it's going to go. Yeah, well, that's... Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so some of the do's and don'ts. Uh, one thing I really hate is when somebody comes up and says, "Make it strong." Oh, you know, Be because I say uh, that though. Uh, but see, that's at that. trunks. I say that, and they're, they pull out the gasoline. They're like, "Here you go." Well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, unless you're willing to just pay for a double, just you know, say, "Hey, I want a freaking double." But usually, make it strong means we're going to make it lighter because you don't have money, and this is you only have enough money for the one drink. So you know, we know that ahead of time. Uh, just stay home. But here's the thing, though. I also hate when you go to like an expensive place and they pull out those little measuring cups. Oh well, that's like, like in don't. North Carolina and places. No, like that. no? they here? I've, Salt Lake City. 
Oh, do they really? Yeah, I was just there. It was miserable. Oh, oh God. God. You're lucky oh, no. you got alcohol. North Carolina so you can't buy what? you can't buy doubles in Salt Lake City at all. You can't even request and a double. And you can't buy alcohol no on Sunday, weekend. right? Yeah. Sunday fun day is oh, like Sunday it's crazy. It's Salt Lake City. <laughs> it's Salt Lake. The Carolinas, I think they use the, the nips, like the little bar. Excuse they, me? They just <laughs> 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 they pour with it their, is chilly They pour here. with their nip. <laughs> no, the little the little uh, little hotel bottles. I swear to God. Oh, my God. I can't. One, yeah, that's the or like when you go on an airline and you order the drink, you know that they're doing that. Bring your own. Yeah. <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> they allegedly, make ties they make ties with a plastic bag. You can pour your alcohol in. I'm not kidding. You. Sure, you're encouraging <laughs> more dragons off a plane. Yeah. Hey, I'm great on a plane. I pass out, and I'm I'm good. I'm telling jokes. Okay, so don't ask for a double. What up? Well, I mean, if you're gonna pay for a double, just don't say, "Hey, make it strong." And if I don't freaking know you, then then what's what's in it for me that, That's that true. I'm gonna just well, then they should give you like a really good tip. Well, yeah, or they usually don't. Though. But here's right, the thing. Right, because if your bartender is going to pour something strong, it's, you're, it's without being said, because you already know each other, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah. you're a good tipper, or whatever, or you suck each other's right. wieners, or yada, yada, exactly. or all, all, all three. In tow for a strong Especially with, no, with you, with Mikey, said the fucking, <laughs> especially if you work at Mickey's. <laughs> <laughs> See, but here's the thing, like, if, if you're on a date, you don't want to appear like an alcoholic, because I could drink eight <laughs> drinks to somebody's two drinks. <laughs> like, that's the ratio. <laughs> no. So I'm all not of us drinking. I'm not going to drink those four drinks in front of my date, because they're going to be like, oh, he's got problems. That's why I'll be like, boom, actually. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, likes. Be ready. Be ready. You get these people who come to the bar and they're just like, you know, they're waving, they're waving, they're waving, and then you get to them. Hmm. I don't know. What's oh, I good? I hate that too. Especially if you're What's behind good? them. It's like, bitch, you, what do you know have? what alcohol is. Like, it's not some brand new at? thing. I'm like, to. yeah. I, I was. I was ready to call nine one one. I get over there and you're like, oh. Um, what are you? <laughs> are you having convulsions? <laughs> I look around. I'm like, there's a full like, girl. What's I see good. <laughs> the next customer. That's what's good. Yeah. Moving yeah, on. Yeah. Okay. I agree with that. <laughs> it's the same thing at a drive-through. I have experienced. <laughs> Get your food and leave. Yeah. I'm exactly. hungry. Okay. Oh, you want another? <laughs> yes. Okay, sure. Uh, sending things back. If you don't like it, if you ordered it, you're going to drink, you're going to pay for it. Or else be really nice about it. Because I can't, I always tell people, it's not a pair of shoes. I cannot take it back. And you know, I can't put it back in the bottle. You know, if you ordered it and you don't like it, well. Mm. I have one friend that always complains about the drink and he sits there and complains about it so loudly. It's like, be a man and send the drink back and get what you want instead of complaining about it the whole time. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah, Sife. Uh, oh. 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 No, I, have, I have no opinion about that. <laughs> at. I went at. Simba, yeah. At Sife one <laughs> <laughs> underscore. He, he can't Nothing. afford an iPhone. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Cricket. Anyway. Whoa. Wow, too much to say. Hey, and if it. you do try to send it back. This relationship maybe. is really deep, I guess. <laughs> There you yeah. go. There's your phone, sir. <laughs> your phone's ringing. <laughs> and if for some reason you're going to ask for a manager because you're so upset, really, really think about that first because he's probably just going to hand you a drink ticket and we're going to laugh about it later. You're really not going to have any effect on the bartender's employment, you know, no matter how. Yeah. I mean, unless I come over the bar, choke you out, or even then. Uh, I mean, that's... <laughs> they might think even they're hot, though. Like, All you'll do is get a job at Flaming. I think you're hitting on them. Or something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which, oh. That went quite well. I mess. know. Quick, do the crickets again. Do the crickets again. <laughs> <laughs> it's new to me, so do the crickets again. I have again. no opinion about that. Anyway, all right. Oh so we're going to talk about trending topics, and everybody jumps in. Um, if you're going to keep it cute, then keep it mute. We, this is real opinions here. Arad, are you, are you awake? I feel like yeah. you're asleep. I know. I yeah. like, I'm feeling. Here. I have a feeling like in school you glasses? drew those yeah, yeah. eyes on. And you're like you were like this. You're like no, I'm, I'm there. Love it. I'm listening. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm listening. Okay. I'm listening. First topic, um, and I wrote my review about it. It's on Bear World Magazine. Who saw the Abby Show? I saw the trailer. I see that picture. I saw the guy that works the, there. The star is my best friend, but <laughs> the I didn't longest. I, I know. So keeping friendships because I, I mean, I'm at the Abbey two, three times a week. Oh, sorry. Friendships aside, Business nobody saw it. <laughs> the trailer. No. The trailer I was saw, the longest two minutes lie. of my life. I don't think anybody saw it, but everyone's like, "Oh, great job, whatever." Tag, tag, tag. No, nobody saw it. Nobody. Nobody no. saw it. Who's but playing? what do you guys think about it? They even took the That's title. So I just think it's another reality TV show. <laughs> yeah. So I had to watch it because I reviewed it. It's worse than they don't even do it well. <laughs> It's Aww. like it's like bad, uh, bad girls club and love boat got together. It's so staged. It's so <laughs> bad. Don't boat. demean the love boat. Yeah. <laughs> the no, love right. boat was fun. I did love. But the here's the, love the thing: boat. they even took out of the, the title, guy, right? Yeah. Charo, e the plane. Oh, I love Charo. <laughs> or whatever. Um, but E Entertainment <laughs> took out. They said it's uh, it's where cameras follow LA's hotspot uh, in 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 their nightly life with celebs. They don't even say gay bar. 
They don't even mention gay bar at Is all. the Abbey yeah, a gay bar? It's not a gay bar anymore. See, I got that guff. Of course it's a gay bar. You can kiss somebody, you can hug somebody, you can grab somebody's whatever. There's gay a go-go boy. It's still a gay bar. Gay so Gay friendly. <laughs> whatever. It's, LBGQ, it's still a gay. LBGQSIP, whatever all the letters are. Shem, yeah. I'm a ding dong. I, you, you can still ask for coke out loud and not get in trouble, so it's kind <laughs> of a gay bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's trouble. So, Allegedly. Tell that, to yeah, my mom. <laughs> tell that to my mom who came to brunch. She's all, I have a coke. <laughs> yeah. What? And she's talking a million miles a minute and she lost 60 pounds. Yeah. Look at all this video with that Enjoy Coke shirt on. So. I what that is. Yeah. Why is the side of my face numb? Yes. Roses? White roses? I don't know, girl. You tell me. Um, okay, so we don't even care about the show. No, I no. honestly think, because ratings, I don't think we're that good, I think they're going to yank it after a couple of weeks. I have no opinion about that. Now, you guys, because you guys are social media, like, you guys dominate social media. You post a picture of, like, a hydrant and people are go crazy about. What happens when you get all... <laughs> post I have to look like at my IG and see how many hydrants I posted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my Twitter, my Twitter, however, has hydrants. Uh, you say oh. hydra or hydrant? Hydrant. Oh, I didn't get Meaning, like, whatever you guys yeah. post, you're going to get tons of yeah, likes, right. and somebody from Ohio is going to be like, I love you, marry me. And a dog, like, and a dog, dog pees on it. I love that everybody picks on Ohio. Come on, Ohio's in the Ohio. house. I love it. Yes, uh, Ohio. No, no, no. We, we you literally guys. make oh, H. <laughs> oh, H. I O. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> No, you guys, we're, at, we're actually streaming on True FM, which is the LGBT network out in Ohio. In so Ohio. we're streaming, yeah. <laughs> well, we, Go Buckeyes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what happens when you guys get all excited about a project and it doesn't really follow through, or it's not the party you thought it was going to be, or you it's know, not the event, you just keep going on? A lot, of, yeah. Yes and no. A lot of, If you pour your heart into it, which a lot of these events you do, or at least your time and social media time, which is money, which becomes your heart, which money is kind of your entertainment. If, if, you're, if you're in entertainment, money is your, you know, we're all hustlers. Um, you always will be if you want to keep relevant or, yeah. you know, anyway. Um, you know, if it, does, if it doesn't go as well, then yes, it's a, it's hard. It's a little bit harder to do the next one. Maybe they pick up the next week yeah. and yada, yada. But I mean, you kind of just, especially with gays, you always can't make everybody happy. And you kind of just They're have so to do. so mean. You know what I mean? You have we're to just kind of do your. We're supposed to be gay, happy, just, hello. So, right. So you have to just kind of do your best and uh, make as many friends as you can along the way. And, and you know, you know maybe whip out your dick a couple times and, you're, and you, hope, you hope for a good night, you know? And that's what it is, but, you know? I have to give it to you because I, I get exhausted just the thought of, you know, when I'm doing a project and I have to I have to put it out there on the Instagrammy and the, the so facebook and so all that much. stuff. I was like, oh, and the hashtags. I don't know what the hashtag. Yeah. You just make it up. It's just, you know, like a hashtag a meat sandwich. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> don't Hasht mind us. We're just doing a show oh, over here. <laughs> hashtag my penis. Hashtag. <laughs> but um, and we got we got this question for both of you: is how much do you how much time do you guys spend on social media? Looking or looking or working? They're on it no. right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right working. Now. No, like working well, because not only do you have to take the picture and make sure it's right and you don't look goofy and then whatever, <laughs> then you have to post it with all the damn tags. Do you guys hire somebody to do some of that for you? I'm getting to hire. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm getting to tired. Yeah, yeah. It's really it's hard too much to work. follow. Yeah, too much work. Facebook fan page, your own page, page, or Instagram page is really hard to follow. Yeah, yeah. I take it's it's not Instagram. as fun as it used to be. It used to be like a fun. I'm still getting paid, and we're, it's we're still getting paid for a lot of posts, and it is fun. But now it's like that. You know, it is the hashtags, and it is like the uh, sending it back and forth to a company and getting it uh, approved, or just. Uh, you know, just like getting in the mood for it, for God's sakes, like you know. Do like, you ugh. do you respond to everybody who no, comments? No, I, I mean, what if it's night? If it's if it's kind, if it's nice, if it's but you don't even fit. know no. because all the notifications come. You're like, I can't That's read. Like, this. I have a half a million followers on IG, so if I post a picture, it's ten thousand likes in a few hours, and it's hundreds of comments. Like, yeah. who cares? It's, it's it's them showing love. The, if they want love back, I follow them. That's that's the way of kind of doing it back. Otherwise, they're just fans and just. The world is what it is. You know so I mean? they do you, you do them back. It's like it's like sixty eight, yeah. and I owe you one. You know, <laughs> fuck, fuck the sixty nine. You know, fuck it, fuck that. You know, I'm busy. I'm making I, money. I got shit to do. Yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> now, do you guys have private private profiles that only like your best friends know? No, no, no. It, it, it's your actual name. So our name, like my name, yeah. not my stage name, would be my friends. Right. You know, I have 1,400 friends on Facebook, not 5,000, not max. Yeah. I have 1,400. I know those people. My fan page is, you know, 20, 30, 40, 100. It's just numbers, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, which is great. But it's not, I'm not posting like, you know, something like my mom could see everything on that page. Or like, I like my friends when I, it's emotional. People are like, oh, I love it. Not, oh, show me your dick, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no matter what you're doing there, it's just actual, actual people reading your, give it your to me. yeah, give it to me. <laughs> it to me. You know, instant, <laughs> check your DM, you know. Because if your mom did that, that would be really weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. Really weird. 
<laughs> but you know, so yeah, usually Justin your real name. That's the your real name is just your I version of your private. What? <laughs> That's how we do it these days. Now, do you guys like count your followers like every week and be like, oh, I went down a couple of thousand because you get paid for like your likes and certain things, or if you have to endorse a a, a product or something. So you have to be cognizant of if you're doing better or worse, right? As long as they're going up, that's what that's what counts. I mean, you know, you're doing something. But like, right. do you check it every day? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, and anybody time. and anybody who says they don't check it every day lies. I know people that get in depressions. Yeah. I always get very upset if I lose one follower. <laughs> I serious and I got and I because then, you, and then I you're down to two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the negative numbers. <laughs> Instagram's like, girl, you and know I want to know who it is, but then I can never tell. I'm just like, I don't want to know who it who is. is who is it? I don't like, know who it is. I unfollow all the people all, all the time. They I don't, don't care. I don't care. I like holding grudges. Oh, I love grudges. Oh, we should start a new Instagram grudges. that's only grudges, <laughs> and you get like a report of who. Oh yes. God, uh, I, I love that. Oh, there's oh. an app right there. Yes, there you go. Okay, next topic, Okur and yes. Are we still using them? Is it done? Is it tired? Okur. Okur. I can't, I, I can't do, do it. Oh, I can't we, we, we have to, yeah, if you don't get the, I'm, I'm not trying it. But if you don't get the part where we understand what, what it that? is, we don't know. What is that? <laughs> I'm the explain I'm the, to my I'm the worst, Persian friend what the first one is. I'm the worst Mexican. I cannot roll my R's. Like I'm an embarrassment to my family. I cannot. We actually roll my have something R's. in common. <laughs> That's the only thing. Uh, the white boy. The white boy in the room can do it. Do white it. people can do it. Do, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. Do it. See, he can do it. It's a light chirp, but he has it. A light chirp. There's that cricket phone again. It's like a hummingbird. It's you like know? motorboating your own <laughs> lips. <laughs> that, that, that's know. what it is. Okay, so but uh, people go, oh, cutter. I can't. No. God, I, can't. Uh, but I then, don't even know what that is. But then also, but yeah, like, yeah, yes, 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 I mean, queen. Are uh, we done using it? That's not going to die until Lady Gaga dies, I think. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but now, or the but, drag thing. but now it's like or her Tony thing. Bennett fans. They're like 84. They're going, yeah, queen. Yeah. But like us, like on the normal level, are we still using it? No. I say it. No. I do it ironically it on Mondays. See, I do it I ironically via text, yeah. but I don't know if people Bottom get that I'm doing it ironically yeah. or not. And then you have Are we officially over it? Did we declare it? Yes. yes. Sure. Over. Upon arrival. Done. Yes. Okay, American yeah. Idol's coming back. Do we even give it? No. Do we care? care? No. no. You guys, they announced their judge coming back, Chris <laughs> Daughtry. I'm like, who? who? He, what? He, he was a contestant. Well, he's hot, though. <laughs> I thought he was hot. He's hot because he was looks he the country like him. One? not hot. <laughs> he looks, he, he has a 75%. No, boo -boo. You hot, he not. <laughs> well, 75%, you know, white no. boy. He looks like I just bought a Subway sandwich from him. Like, uh, no, <laughs> he looked, Chris Daughtry, not you. Chris Daughtry. Was he the one that said country? Subway. He's like bald and he's like a rocker. Yeah, I think he's good looking. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, he's yeah. good looking, uh, dude. Like very right. like cold play music. So Topher's stuff. excited he that he's right. back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, think. All right. yeah. I don't but know if that's a good thing. But but it's back for a reboot. It was it was only off the air for like a year. So how could that be a reboot? <laughs> I don't know. I stopped watching like ten years ago. <laughs> Katy Perry's back. Oh, she's a oh. judge next to Chris Daughtry. <laughs> That's probably all they could afford after they paid for <laughs> Katy Perry. They're like, we have Emmanuel Lewis, who's dead, or Chris Daughtry, or CGI Paul Abdul. That's oh wonderful. That's wonderful. They should do a CGI Paul amazing. Abdul. Yes. I would watch that. Yes. And a ficus. <laughs> Done. Okay, Abby Lee Miller. Who, does anybody watch Dance Moms? No. Okay. What are these shows? Do you watch these <laughs> shows? Dude. Do you watch all these shows? You guys, American my job Idol, job. Dance Moms, yada, yada. Yada. I watch Dance Moms. I can't stand American Did you watch Idol. Feud? Of course I watched Feud. Oh, I was in Feud. Yeah. I'm Betty Davis, bitch. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, if, for all those that care, Abby Lee Miller is in jail for a year. Her show is whatever. Uh, this was announced too. Zac Efron will be playing Ted Bundy in a major film. Do we want our serial killers to be sexy like that? Wait, but wasn't but Zac Efron just in Baywatch? Yeah. In Baywatch, right? How do you, you can't do such weird characters so close together. Weird characters? You think Baywatch was Shakespeare, girl? I think no, like that's great, but just hold on to that for a little while before oh. you well, switch no. characters. I think. He's starting to film it, so the movie won't come out for like another year, oh. year and a half. But yeah, a serial date. killer wasn't Ted Bundy like kind of charming, or that's was what that my mom said. Yes. Like, mom, why are you watching? I mean, <laughs> why are you following Ted Bundy? How do you think beauty? those serial killers draw them in? Like, them. like Dahmer was kind of hot in his day. You guys were weird. He was. <laughs> what? I mean, uh, before no, I Jeffrey knew. Jeffrey Dahmer was attractive. Was <laughs> if you saw him in a bar and he invited you home, you might go home with him. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Well, honey. <laughs> 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 Helen Keller could walk into the bar. You'd be like, hey, girl, let's kick it. <laughs> I have my medallion ready. <laughs> what did she say when she fell down the well? What? Oh my god. Yo, my god, you at least, oh you, at least you answered it. That's funny. <laughs> what? Either it. What's Sorry. Funny? What? You should, you to our Jeff community. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 All 
All right, you guys, uh, where you can find On The Rocks, in your neighborhood, On The Rocks. Of course, we are all here because we will all be Saturday night at Overboard. Overboard is here. It's the biggest Long Beach Pride party. Whoop. It's on the Queen Mary this Saturday, May 20th. Go to overboardlbc.com to get your tickets. It's a huge line of your favorite uh, boys in different stages of clothing <laughs> and sobriety. <laughs> stages of clothing. <laughs> we are giving away free tickets. Uh, email info at ontherocksradioshow.com for your chance to get a VIP boarding pass. Um, and this is what we're talking about uh, tonight. We're so excited. San Diego, I'm coming for you. San Diego, out at the San fair. San Diego! Run. Oh, God, run. Um, I'm going to be uh, on the paddock stage from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Next to the beer, <laughs> next to the beer gardens. I don't even know you guys, but I'm live streaming it. It's literally, um, and I'll be with uh, performers Pepper Mache, Kitty Brocknell, Ricky Rebel, uh, many Pepper. others. So come see me or come watch the live streams. OC Pride. I'm performing June 24th at the Pride uh, Speak Stage, um, and I'm singing actually. And I'm doing a show with a shirtless violinist whose videos are going viral. Um, he's visiting, and so we're actually putting a show together that we will be touring around the nation. Speaking of performances, you guys. <sighs> When the poster hit and your muscles were bulging, um, my friend Charlene Modesti, uh, who is a singer, Modeste, God, I always say that. How many years have, have, have we known each other? She saw she she said, I have to come sing. And I never get to see Charlene. One night I flew into yes. New York. This is when Charlene moved to New York. I flew in for one night to see Patti Lapone. Uh. And I happened to call her and say, Hey, let's hang out after the show. It was 4 a.m. when we were done. We went to Don't Tell Mamas. We were up on a, on a box dancing, whatever. This is Charlene. Um, and Charlene has a song for you boys um, that she'd like to perform. Aww. So she's visiting. Charlene, do you, do you mind? Oh. Baby craving it. Baby craving it, but something happened to my capo while I went to the restroom. I don't know what it is. What, happened to you? what does a capo look like? A cable, oh, like C A B L E, but with an accent, cable. No, C A P O. Oh, I'm like, is she saying a cable? Like I don't have my cable. Cable. Because I mean, I sp I speak some of <laughs> so I speak some large. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm just asking, but I thought it was cute. She was. I was looking down. <laughs> Shut up. Wait. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. I thought she was saying cable. cable. It was my cable. I'm like, oh. We have all kinds of cables everywhere. Look at this. It's not. I've been looking for it since I. The cable is missing. I know. Can, I hold something? can you, baby? Can you move those water bottles and the glass well, you know out of what? it? I'll just so I can, have to yeah, sing thank it. You. I'll just, you'll just have to bear. I'll have to try and yeah. sing it lower. Then that's all. Oh, girl. Because the show it must go on. The show must go on. It's not behind the curtain. It's not. I I looked while. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for me? What's the song called? The song you. It's called Besame Mucho. Yes. yes. Oh, kiss yes. me. Yes. Yes. You can say yes to that. Yeah. All right, girl. Take All right. Away. Kiss me, baby. Make me feel breathless. Kiss me until I can feel you deep inside my heart. Kiss me, kiss me so sweetly, so I'll remember your kiss long after. Besame mucho Como si fuera esta noche la última vez Besame Si fueres 
esta noche la última vez pésame Order food at Del Taco, and you're coming out with like this, like the Spanish here, Charlene. Wow. Who, who, who put the gypsy in you, girl? Girl, I think we have to work together. I think we should. <laughs> Tuffer's gonna find you a capo. Capo. Wow. <laughs> that was yeah. a treat. I was, I mean, that I was, was expecting mean. good, but wow. Yeah, that was because she wanted Wonderful. to sing to you, honks, and she even put that in text. Yeah. I, said I, got the honks. Got some, I said I got some serenading to do. Too. What is it? Oh. What is your honor of all the honkiness? What is your ethnicity? I am. I'm Caribbean. Um, my okay. parents are, my folks are from Trinidad and Tobago. I was born in Brooklyn, New York. She beautiful, y'all. She, she got is. swag. She got that <laughs> she good skin. Party. She got that good skin. With them all. Yeah, <laughs> she is, the looks are behind the voice. I ain't mad <laughs> at it, but yeah. <laughs> she can party with the dance queen. She can party with the musical theater crowd. She That's can party, right. yeah. You can party with the Etta James crowd. First the time. Yes. Ooh. Well, at least somebody That's at this table is. <laughs> 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 Um, Charlotte, I just have to tell, uh, it's kind of a funny story, putting a yeah. funny spin on something. Yeah. You've been you've been up north doing this like hippy-dippy uh, medical treatment. Don't call it no hippy-dippy, it's working. <laughs> okay, all right, girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it, you can call it whatever you want, it's actually. Universe. It's uh, I, I, I've been plagued with uh, tumors for a very, very long time. They're benign, so I'm not dying. It's not cancerous, but it did cause me to have to put, like, press pause on my fabulous life. <laughs> oh, that made me so sad. <laughs> well, when you get back and, into it... And so I had to, I have to go and deal with my health issue. And so I'm up north uh, because I can slow down. Like, I have to slow down and a lot, lots of rest is required. And so every once in a while I come down here and think, I think I want to move back. So like this last couple of months I've been in town. I was like, I think I'm moving back. And then I was like... I gotta hustle too hard. I can't rest, so I'm gonna be going back up north at the end of the month. Oh! But I'll be dipping down here on occasion, and you know, let you know, give you a heads up. Yeah, it's well. Thank you I'll for blessing us music. with your yeah. presence. Yeah. Thank yes. You. Yeah. Thank you for accepting me and yes. just like having wow. me sing. Well, I, I, have a, I have a funny story because I took you out to Mickey's in West Hollywood. Yeah. Um, and you know, the, the tumors kind of look like like you're. It looks like I'm pregnant. I look like the pregnant chick at the bar, like having a drink. <laughs> and so we ordered the, the drinks, so right? I get and, and crazy the, side eye. And the crazy like, side eye. Are you sure already. you should with with the baby? And her, oh no! Her, her comment, and this is the hashtag: is baby craving it. <laughs> 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 so to my listeners when life is kicking you in the shins and you just need whatever you need baby craving that's the new it. hashtag <laughs> yes, hashtag baby, baby craving, craving it, it. Baby yeah it. All right, Charlene, all right. you're going to come back at the end of the show. Sure We're will. all going to be singing one of my favorite songs. It's an original song that you do, and it's about going out and having a good time. Yes, it is. So thank you, Charlene. Thank Woo! you. Look at this. All right, we need to get this show on the road. I need to thank our sponsors. Uh, Test Loop, if you're traveling between L.A. and Palm Springs, L.A. and O.C., or L.A. and San Diego, you need to ride in a Test Loop. It's cheaper than an Uber. You cannot believe Test the experience. Loop? Test that? Loop. You guys don't know Test Loop? No. You, you guys. Test Loop I just heard about it online. I, They're my sponsor. The yes, they, my friends took it back from White Party from, from, yes, from Palm Springs to L.A. To <laughs> and a Tesla. You got a spot with two other people, which is... We need fancy. They were classy because they were always taking a Tesla. Or you could get the whole car for yourself, oh, whatever. Exactly. It's so inexpensive. Yeah, Tesla. Tesla and you sit like uh, uh, Test Loop. So Tesla go to T E S L O O P dot okay. com. And it's it's so it's affordable. And you sit in your own like little seat capsule. You get treats. You can put in headphones. You don't have to pay attention to anybody. They drive me back and forth to Palm Springs because, you know, I can't. How much does that cost? It's it's not. It ranges from $39 one way uh, during the week. And then it goes up to like $79. Wow. But they have new routes to San but Diego. Still, even an Uber would be more expensive. Yeah. yeah. Right. Much better. 40 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Much better. <laughs> and you get uh, better. Uh, much better. It's, oh, much hello. Much welcome much back. Better. Yes. There he is. It's official, Arad. It's you much better. Yeah. You said Arad snacks. Here. He has arrived. I yeah. called the Uber from Palm Springs to LA. You do it. Last weekend. Oh, you did. <laughs> t- 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 tell them the behind story. Tell them the behind <laughs> story. They, sh- they should have done it for free. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll driver, give you a code. But, but drivers don't know me, though. So. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, please. He didn't know you. Girl, he didn't know you. He's like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. Oh, do I know you? And meanwhile, like, the wife like, is texting him. What? What? Sneaking photos. Yeah. Anyway, go to Test Loop, though. And like I said, they're going to San Diego now, uh, OC in LA. Literally the best way to travel. Our other sponsors, Hoochap, uh, you buy one drink and they give you 30 free drinks per month all around whatever city. It is the best. Literally. What? Which is like a day and a half for I you. I need right? to get a yes. list afterwards. It's not in the same day, mind you, but still. <laughs> uh, they, they tell you where your free drink is around your city, and you get to explore new bars, new drinks, and it's it's the, their top shelf drinks. It's That's not cool. like, oh, here's a cranberry vodka made by Michael Vega. Um, <laughs> so, so download the Hooch app. In fact, so it's usually no like- doubles. Allegedly. No doubles. No yes. doubles. <laughs> it's, it's, it's be usually, ready. No, be no strong ready. drinks <laughs> if you don't know the bartender. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually 10 bucks. Don't talk to Michael if you don't know him. <laughs> I'm allegedly a bartender. <laughs> He's allegedly friendly. <laughs> You're allegedly a lot of things. I, I feel like your name is just allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly Absolutely. Vega. That could, uh, allegedly, and no comment. Allegedly Vega. That, that could be your adult performer name. Yeah. Allegedly. That? Allegedly. That's cute. If but I, do an A, period, allegedly. If I was want to just do mix that it sort up. of thing. Okay, all right. Um, Hoochap, uh, the code word is turnt up, and then you get it for a dollar to sign up. Turnt up is what the code word they gave on <laughs> the rocks. Up. Turnt up. So go okay, download Hoochap. Uh, Spunk Lube is our is our sponsor. They have been <sighs> our very first sponsor, tried and true. In fact, they sent you guys T-shirts. It works. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, not for you. They don't come in bitchy size. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna use that. And they don't I'm come in tarp that. either. Oh. <laughs> Funny, I have one. Um, <laughs> anyway, gentlemen, uh, those shirts are for you. Also, they're sending you home with a full bottle of Spunk Lube. Uh, we love them. Uh, a little dab will do you. Whether you're gay, straight, your car needs a little rev up, or your vacuum cleaners, <laughs> whatever. Just put in that. Also, our Instagram media partner, Bears, Cubs, and Scruff. Have you, have you, uh, Topher? Have you ever dated a bear, cub, or scruff? I. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, my whole oh. life, I've I've uh, had a sexual encounters with uh, probably all of it, but I don't know if I've ever dated like a yeah, like 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 dated. Uh, no, oh. no. Try it I, my ex boyfriend turned into a, a baby <laughs> cup after because he's just, oh. he got older and his and his his nice little body wasn't smooth anymore. But you know that's how things happen. Uh, big girls need love too, girl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so capo. Okay, Arad, have you ever dated a bear cub or scruff? No. <laughs> I love your answers. You I should start your own talk show. <laughs> <laughs> a rod. <laughs> It'd be like a 10 minute show. Hello. Just a rod. No. Test loop. <laughs> no, <not like> that. <laughs> Just a rod. Shane, you, you come from the barrel. In fact, you play bear, bear. I do bear and circuit events, yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's in your nature. Have you ever dated bear cub or scruff? Uh, well, you know my ex husband went well, into. Oh, yes. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, he didn't do that when we were together, but um, I guess. What, what well, would he's you, definitely from what the bear would you cub say and scruff. Say my ex-husband's Adam Russo. I mean, I don't use that freaking name, but um, yeah. That's, I love I guess. that name. I want that to be my name. <laughs> anyway, he's, thank you to Bears, Cubs, and Scruff. Muscly. Yeah, 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 yeah. They repost all of our stuff, so we love them. Thank you to our fashion sponsor, Swish Embassy. Uh, they sent me so many t-shirts. Here's the t-shirt of the week. It's uh, Blanche Devereaux from Golden Girls as she -Ra. It's one of my favorite t-shirts, <laughs> and I love it. Thank you, Swish Embassy. Also, Zoofer, Zoofer People. They design contemporary killer accessories for men with a great emphasis on detail and quality. The brand also supports wildlife efforts of WWF and Wild Aid. And usually, like... You know, you don't give like a very flamboyant man a lot of like frilly, clinky things. This is their stuff, and it's it's nice. It's understated, and it's yeah, it makes me look like a top. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Arad. Yes, you're you're like the silent but He's deadly. To, like like when it comes out, it's like, it's like the oracle has spoken. <laughs> yeah, I know. Slats it. Is. The one yeah, on the left looks tight. Sneaky snake. Yeah. <laughs> sneaky snake. Anyway, um, and finally, uh, Panache Optical Gallery. They are the luxury eyewear for celebrities in Palm Springs and up north. Uh, we do a Moment of Shade, our weekly Moment of Shade by Panache Optical Gallery. This Moment of Shade is brought to you by Nicole Kidman on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Tony, speaking about Ellen DeGeneres. Did you guys see this? No. no. I would like to, though. We're, we're, we're going to watch it. So they do an on-air cooking show, and Nicole Kidman just does not like Giada. In fact, a lot of people don't like Giada because she had an affair. But anyway. Oh. So she shit talks Giada's recipe. So let's watch it. This is our sh Moment of Shade. Does her face move? <laughs> <laughs> Nicole's over it at this point. She's like, let's finish. What are we making? Is that a pizza? What is it? It's a focaccia. It's a focaccia. With clementines and fennel. And look oh, how I'm so hungry right now. Oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> how do you get it like that? It does not look like that. I don't know. It will Nicole is throwing shade look, everywhere. Just go like I'm this. giving up. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> You're laughing at Gianna. Yeah. I'm going to fix it. Look. There. There, it's all fixed. <laughs> there, it's all fixed. <laughs> she can't even eat it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even do a cooking set, but I don't even know why I bother. So is this a comedy skit, or is this to really be no, happening? No, this is really happening. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's worse. She puts it down. Look at it. Then you guys look what she does with the food. <laughs> she takes it out of her mouth. <laughs> Moment of shade. Thank you, Nicole Kidman, for bringing some Hollywood levity. Um, all right, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at On the Rocks on Air, Facebook On the Rocks Radio Show. You can book me at a wedding, funeral, quinceanera, whatever you want. I'll be there. Quinceanera. Quinceanera. Info at ontherocksradioshow.com. Let me formally introduce our guest today. Let's get down to to, to the nitty gritty. Uh, Topher DiMaggio, uh, hailing from Houston, Texas, is an international cover model, Andrew Christian Trophy Boy, entertainer and promoter who has dominated the social media scene and worked with major adult entertainment film studios. In addition to his modeling career, he is an avid hip hop dancer. Did you read that off my wiki page? My wiki, what is it, Wikipedia page? No, I had to do some research on you because <laughs> you some, of, some of it's right, most of it, some of it's wrong. Oh, okay. like, it's completely go. wrong. But, All but, 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 well, anybody can edit yeah, it. I know. Um, I know, that's why I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he's also into paper mache and, <laughs> and pinatas. Okay. And pottery. <laughs> also, welcome to the show, Arad Win Win. You, you couldn't win just once, you have to like win twice. Yes. Okay, Win Squared. That's a good one. Arad Win Squared is a bodybuilder, Andrew Christian uh, model, and adult entertainer who recently opened up about his escape from Iran at age 22 to save his own life, leaving his friends and family behind. That's a movie in itself, by the way. I think I should play you in yeah. like the Lifetime TV movie. I think yeah. it's only fair. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. There you go. All right. Um, and also, Shane Steele. I always, Steele. I'd steal, but I say Steele. Steel. Like, it just comes that way. Steele. I sound like Sean... Oh, I'm Sean I, I sound like Sean, 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 Shane, Shane Steele. Uh, well, Say that to them. I fast. know. <laughs> if you ever heard DJ Shane Steele spin, you're immediately convinced this guy was born to DJ from the all-night events at the Rocky Mountains in his early years to the high-energy club events of the West Coast. This DJ turned Navy veteran, turned back to DJ, is making one indelible impression on the club scene and shows no signs of slowing down. Uh, Shane Steele <laughs> Steel has had blood in his, uh, music in his blood. In from his <laughs> urine. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. The day was he born. He's also a personal trainer, <laughs> and he's really a personal trainer. Yes. yes. Um, and I've seen the pictures on his Instagram. <laughs> he doesn't just say it on Instagram. He is a personal no, trainer. No, because some people... You <laughs> seven know, seven out of eight yeah. of my friends are personal trainers, like, except for zero out of eight of them are actually of personal trainers. trainers. They're like, oh, you actually want to go to the gym? I hope yeah, you yeah. just like kick it and smoke a few and maybe see a movie. Shame. I'm a trainer. Yeah. Anyway, welcome, gentlemen, Thank to the show. Thank you. Applause. Thank you. So one of the first tweets we got uh, was was a fan, and they were saying that they hoped Arad would be able to get into words edgewise, uh, edgewise because uh, Topher talks so much. That that was tweeted out. <laughs> it's because I speak four percent better English than Arad, <laughs> so therefore I, I seem like I'm a cocky motherfucker. But you guys have I a really good friendship, though. Yeah, he's my yeah. baby. He's he's, 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 my, yeah. he's my voice. So yeah, I'm his oh, voice. He's voice. Yeah. Oh, my voice. He's my voice. Okay. I've been there since the beginning of his career, and I've I, I'm the reason why he became Andrew Christian model and pushed that. Of course, him is the reason, but because of his, you know, newly to America, it was hard for him uh, to do that. And I made sure that because we became close through that, um, everything after that was uh, easier. To be, we became you know close, and now he's like my brother, my little brother, my baby, my. Everything. Keep going. That, everything. My everything. My everything. You know. That's so refreshing, and you can actually see the chemistry in your modeling shoots from your Instagram, from when you guys live stream or whatever. It is an actual true friendship, and it's so hard in this industry. And you guys know, especially in the industry that you are, where it's modeling. Modeling's about looks. There's a lot of haters out there. Oh Both God, you man. guys hit the uh, adult entertainment industry at the top level. Do you guys get haters from people that have been like working for studios at the subway? <laughs> you know, <Yeah. laughs> and you, then now, you now work for TV guy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we recreate I Love Lucy episodes in porn, but, um. but but do you do you get haters that have not hit the the top level where you guys are at? Yeah, absolutely. I have a lot of haters because of the where I'm from, but who care? 
so keep going. Working but on. how do you deal with it? I mean, it has to know, like, and you guys, especially being an Andrew Christian model, Andrew Christian has, has top-level uh, people like you, but then he has newbies that come in, you know, that he has contests for, and they don't know how to photo shoot, they don't know how to prepare, they don't know how to be a professional shoot. How do you deal with that? If you could just go talk to Andrew and say everything you just said, <laughs> <laughs> we will endorse you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Andrew. We tell him that all the time. Um, the thing is with... Uh, and Andrew Christian is a very, it's a gay, it's a gay clothing company. So they we try to be diverse, and so it, different things are hot to different people. So like although we keep our bodies in peak shape, there's other people that, although they have different bodies, I'm just gonna say different people like that, and it drives sales. So at the end of the day, there's some some sales, but you have to have a brand. So we try to keep our brand, but mm -hmm. then there's a there's a fine line and balance of all of that, and then there's the, then there's this the drama sometimes just got to keep people around because people just like to fight. Gays love to fight, you know? Yeah, well, yeah. You know, yeah. and then, Challenging. you know, and, and so, and, and, then judge. So, and judge, and yeah. and this and that, and, and it's so, it's hard. It, it's definitely hard, uh, you know, doing that. And, I, and I've been, you know, the face of his company for four years now, and it's hard. To, and, I, and I'm 31. I'm never ashamed to say my name or my age or anything like that. We'll and talk to you in 10 years. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> but but these, kids, these, these kids are coming in for, you know, and they're, they're just, they're super young. And, and but they, I have to say, you know, they, they so come and go. You know, exactly. Yeah. So to stay around and have a lasting career says a lot more for when the people are hating on you. That, that's what I'm getting to. It's your career speaks for itself and what you do and the relationships you make and yada, yada. So they'll come and go. And even if you're hot for a moment, just, you know, it's, it's, you know, say it to me in 10 years, like I've been at exactly. Now, both so. you guys do such a good job, and I want to know where this business sense comes from. You guys know that you guys can go and party and have your nightlife, but you also have to show up on time. You have to look good. You have to look healthy. You have to look refreshed. But then you have to do the endorsements. You have to do the Instagram. You have to do, uh, you have to, you Give know. The Facebook, everything. Yeah. Media, yeah. And you have to book yourself. You have to act professional when you show up at your bookings, whether it's this state or that state. How does that business sense come along? Because I can imagine it could be pretty uh, tempting to be like, oh, everybody loves me and likes my pictures and everybody wants to be me, sleep with me, buy me drinks, to get wrapped up in that rather than, no, I need to support the business behind that. It, the, there, that, uh, that line is always being blurred, whether you want it to or not. There's sometimes I can show up, I'm time, on time, I look great. There's sometimes I show up, I'm hungover, and blah, 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 just because I had an event Friday night and I have one Saturday night. And so I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie and say you don't. And most of the time I'm on point, you know, and I love it. And it's a, but it's a constant struggle, you know, mm -hmm. drinking, the entertainment, uh, the hours we keep. Mm -hmm. um, you, you just try to gym as many hours or whatever you do, it, almost as equally as many as you as you party or work. So if I have eight events and they're three hours each this week and it's, you know, 24 hours and I need, I need to be in the gym 24 hours. So I think of it that way. And then, it, you know, you don't fall behind, you know. But also, you guys are booked. If, if you're promoting an event or a certain evening, they want to see you come and drink and have fun. You can't right. try to be like, I have work at 8 in the morning. I can't really drink. They want you to be your persona. So that's got to be tough. Yeah, yeah. we drink. Yeah, we drink. <laughs> no, I know you guys yeah. do. I've yeah, seen we, you we, guys. We, we are yes. by no means limiting our alcohol. You, 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 you know, you learn what your body is. You learn to not use yeah. the chasers. You learn to not drink, uh, you know, you, the, the shots. One ounce of, of liquor a few times is a way better than having four vodka Red Bulls. You learn that, you, you learn yourself, you learn partying. It's, there are tricks of doing it, uh, when to hydrate, uh, to eat before and then not eat f at the club. It, 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 when, you know, when and how to do, when and how to do your, what it you do. Routine. You know, it's routine. Yeah. So, it, uh, and, when, and you can, you can have, you can get just as drunk and have just as much fun and party and not be hungover and just feel like shit and look like shit the next day. Doesn't always work. You know, it's not like some... Take note, Alexander. Take, yeah, take note. But Girl, yeah. I don't wake up before 2 in the afternoon. I don't <laughs> care what it is. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> of course, I look like this and, you know, whatever. Anyway, but Shane... Oh, no. River Brown, River Brown. No, 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 but no, no, no. Uh, and, uh, but Shane, you also, you know, you have your super late nights. and now you oh, yeah. also play late parties, yep. but then you're a personal trainer, so you're doing trainings at oh, 7, yeah. 8 in the morning. But I have to say this. I've not known a crazy DJ who gets really drunk on the job each DJ I know tends to moderate that. Yeah, it's all. It's, do you it's, get out much? I do. I know. I know. I'm like, what? what? It's, really? So, I don't so, think so that's not true. No, it's it's. it's I mean, besides Shishi you have to, Yeah, it's moderation. And sometimes, I mean, sometimes you're playing a gig until four in the morning, and then you have to be at the airport at seven, and on a plane to the next city to go play again. And it, it's just you have to just like just like same you said, same. It's like you have to. Be a professional partier. So when know? are you guys working out? Is and it, you have to enjoy it. Like I enjoy it. I enjoy it. And if you and if you feel like you're not enjoying it, you have to show up with a smile on your face 
because they're fucking paying you. Yeah. yeah. So you got to show up like, I'm on point. I'm ready to go. Here we go. You know? Yeah. Now, when do you guys fit in gym time? Because you guys also deal a lot with jet lag. You don't know. Like, you could be you in a different city, in. in a different time zone. You just get it in whenever. No, <laughs> no matter how tired you are, I mean... I don't really have jet lag. Do you have jet lag anymore, though? I would say people Mm -hmm. that do this consistently enough have a name, don't have jet lag. Whatever time, whenever you land, whatever time it is, that's the time it is. I don't think, oh, it's three hours. It's just if I land at six and it was three there, it's six. It it doesn't matter. So then then you never are jet lagged. And sometimes your body will catch up to you. But you just. But even if you're tired, you still got to get it in. You got to get it in. You got to get it in. Just put that on the Sometimes it works if you're more tired. It's like, whatever. No matter what time, get it in. Call me. Now, you guys get called in for a lot of gigs. I know you get so many requests. And Shane, you you played big venues, huge venues, yep. and then smaller events. What makes you say yes to a booking, and what makes you say no to a booking? Money. Rent. I love that question. Money. You always Money. get that question, Money. too, huh? The DJ, especially. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. But but even if you get paid a lot of money, if it's something that you just you can't stand, you know, you guys have the luxury to not have to take every job. No, but I think I think, I think what's important about it <laughs> is, is you go you go into an event knowing uh, you have to first before you even talk about money or anything you have to be confident in what you're bringing to the event. So as a DJ, I'm confident that I can bring a good sound to the event, and these guys, I'm sure they're confident they can bring what they bring to an event as well. You know, so you have to have that first and foremost. And if you come up with a price and you give the promoter a price, you have to be like, look, I'm worth that price. Right? Yeah, yeah, and sometimes yeah. you'll sell them on a price, but they'll know immediately if you didn't do that. This entertainment industry, and especially in the gay world, even internationally, is so small. So if you say, I'm going to bring 500 people, and right. I'm a hot DJ, I'm a hot host, and blah, 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 I have this media following, people are going to come see me, we're going to do this, blah, 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 we're going to show up, we're going to get people drunk. Well, if you promise all that, it doesn't happen one time. Oh, it's not going to happen again. Yeah. Right. So it's not like you get so many chances. You get like two or three. Right. You might fool somebody in California or somewhere over there. But right. if you're, you but know, you, I, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. So it's like, it, exactly. So what he said is true. And if you don't hold up to it, it's like, well, well then we won't use you again. Right. I'm well, sure there are gigs that are like labors of love, though, that, that you have to do even well, of regardless of what they're going to pay. Or it's for like yeah, yeah. charity yeah. or yeah, something. Charity events are considered. But also like, it, you know, if you have, say, you know, a big, as for DJ wise, if you have like a big. Do we have lies? <laughs> we're we're passing you? around vodka right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nonprofit kid. Non-profit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so, gonna um, drink from the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so no, but what I'm saying is, um, <laughs> is um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So when you know when you're playing for <laughs> that's oh all vodka. God. <laughs> he didn't ask for a double, girl. No, pass it down. I have Pellegrino. Yeah. Oh, pour it in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pause show. There's liquor getting, with gays. It's getting better and better. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing works. Yeah. yeah. Just so pour anyway, it in. Um, yeah, um, just to come down to it, you just have to be confident in what you're doing. You know, and 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 uh, what I was saying is, any promoters that you work with, say it's a huge promoter, you want to work with them at, at, at least for your first time to show them that what you can bring. Talk more into your microphone. Show I know you're new you to bring. sound show equipment. You DJ Shane Show them what you can bring. <laughs> um, no, you have to show the promoter what you can bring. You know, and then. You know. No, but I'm, I'm talking about on, on the other side of it. It's like, you know what, I, that's, 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 that's not attractive to me, or that's too small of a venue, even if they're oh, willing yeah. to pay. Yeah. And plus, there a lot of times people. when they want to overpay, that means that you're not actually going to get paid. Right. Do you guys ask for money in advance? Deposits. Sometimes, Sometimes yeah, deposits. Yeah. It's deposits. It's deposits. You have it's a writer. international, yeah. right? Writer. Yeah. 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 Now, I love when you guys do a meet and greet, especially you guys, because meet and greets are so funny to me. Because, like, yes. Pretty. No, because, like, you guys have fanatic, like, you have fans that are doing, like, artwork for you, fake oh, profiles, yeah. all this stuff. Oh, yeah. But my thing is, like, you finally get there to meet and greet, and you're like, hi. I'm like, like, what does it mean? Great. It doesn't mean that they're going to be able to like, party with you for real. No. You guys have your <laughs> friends. It, it, it's just like anybody, whether you meet, a, you I know. know. He I went to one here. once, and it was a uh, John Cameron Mitchell, and I was like, "Oh, I'm seeing Hedwig and blah blah blah." Hedwig and with I, the foot I, fetish, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Like, so knows. And then I did. I, I got up. <laughs> My friend dated him. I got up to him, and I was like, "Like the movie?" What do you say? Like, like, what do your fans say to you when they're so excited to meet you, and then they're like, uh, "Hey, can I, I get a picture? picture? Can I buy you a drink?" Right, can I get a picture? Usually, they're, they're no, more I touching. It's more, they want to touch you, yeah, touch do. you, See, kiss so you, bite right you, me, I, that's, grab that's, you, at least give you a dollar. They're, they're never yeah. talking. Your arms. Now, how do you guys feel about that? Obviously, your career is based on yes, I'm, I'm muscular. People find me sexually attractive, but there comes a propriety, just like with anything. You don't go to Julie Roberts and say, "Hey, do that line from Notting Hill over and over again." Right. So how how does that balance <laughs> out? Because people assume because they've seen you in certain levels of undress that they get a part of you, and that's not it at all. But I think right. they do do that. They do do that to like Julian. Stuff like that, so I can see. 
But that's but weird. I, all the time, nice though, because you know we you are. are di- I've heard we, you're very nice. We are. I haven't heard that about you. What did you hear about me? I'm like, I, have, I, 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 don't, I don't have that. I don't have that <laughs> reputation. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm nice. No, but, but it must be hard. It's like. So. G- I'm a dream man. <laughs> Let me touch so. you, touch you. It's like, he gives free not- hugs. <laughs> yeah. It's important I, to be I, nice. Okay, touch one time. If second time, no, go. One time. <laughs> one time is fine. Okay, touch. Hi, <laughs> talk a little bit. Go. More. Uh-uh. I've had people come to me but and it's say, "It's weird when people like." I mean, yeah, unless you want them to touch you, and you're like, "Yes." Yeah, so how do you, how do you guys <laughs> how, how do you guys bear that? Because there must be some guys that, regardless of if you're dating or not, there has to be some level. It's like, I would love to flirt with them, but because I am who I am, you can't just flirt like a normal guy at a bar. It's hard. It's difficult. that sucks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's totally hard. I ha- I dated a guy in San Diego, and <laughs> it sounds bad. He, he told, he, he told I've me, seen your flirting first hands. <laughs> <laughs> he, oh. told, he told me after we dated, he said I was afraid to even walk up to you and I'm like because Aww. it must be so well, they intimidating assume, they, well they assume that you're a bitch because you like or whatever you know they just assume or no. something about you well you don't smile the, the only time I've seen you smile on your Instagram pictures is with your new dog oh yeah oh. new puppy oh, that pig. is some lucky dog really romantic yes um, as a reminder, we, we did get a question from uh, the room. Um, our call in number is 323-284-7826. Call in. Call, call in. in. So I, I want to talk us. about dating. You don't have to tell me if you're dating or not, but how how does that even work? And, like, Michael, you've dated somebody from from the, the adult entertainment industry. Uh, he, but he wasn't doing that when we were together. That, that's but regardless, me. even if you're, like, an underwear model or you're a yeah. DJ, your sexuality is... Is, is is a big sell. Yeah. How do you even go on a date? Do you feel like you have to be your persona? Hi. Oh, hello. Come on in. Hello. Hello. It's me. It's- oh, Alexander, it's Clarence. Hi, Clarence. How are it you? It is Clarence. Hey, how's everything going? Good. So Clarence is a fan that calls in. He Woo! loves all of the Andrew Christian guys. He's a big supporter. Yes. Does, does he have videos when we see him? Hi, or is this like a boy year look? Hi, Dan, baby. Where are you? <laughs> Man, I know those two miles. And it's a call. Come to Instagram. How are you doing? Clarence, what are you up to? Thank oh. you so much for calling in. What are you wearing? <laughs> well, um, sooner or later, um, I'm glad you asked, Alexander, because I'm receiving some overwhelming support, and I'm going to be back on my YouTube show in July. Good. Clarence, um, now your your goal is to become the first swimmer. Uh, what's your goal? I'm so sorry. Third for the LGBT community. Yep. Awesome, yeah, Clarence. Awesome. Awesome. I follow you and I support wow. you on, on your Instagram, and thank you so much. Do you, do you have a question for our guests? Well, I will, since I have one, I have the honor to talk to Topher and Arad, since I know those two being part of the Andrew Christian family. But to Arad, I'm really proud of you sharing your story of what you've been through coming to the USA and being thank part you. of the Andrew Christian Molly family, because that was really brave of you, because your story really inspires Thank you very much. Very sweet of you to read it. I appreciate it. Because I got to say, you and Topher are quite the amazing team when it comes to being Andrew Christian Miles. Because you two I want to see your guys' reality show, show on I, I, love yeah. that we, I love that we become a team, actually, because it's not Topher and Arab. It's like Laverne TNA. and Shirley. It can be TNA. It, right? It's on accident. <laughs> T- right? TNA. TNA. You got a good point, Alexander. The show can be you called TNA. TNA. Yes. I, I would watch a reality show about this because you guys do have a real support system <laughs> and a real care yeah, for right. each other. And you're called TNA. E Entertainment presents TNA. <laughs> there you go. TNA. We, we oh, find yeah. a name on it already. <laughs> and their housekeeper, the Husky <laughs> Latino, <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> Clarence, thank you so much for your kind words. Clarence, I, Thanks, I, Clarence. I look you up every day on Instagram. Thank you so much. And good luck to you. I'm going to watch your YouTube right. show. It's a great honor. Take care. And Thanks, don't Clarence. Thank Take you, care, Clarence. Clarence. Thank you. Bye, Clarence. see more of Andrew Christian every day on Instagram, no matter what. Thank yes, you. Thank, thank you, Clarence. Care. So, Arad, I want to talk because you you did recently come out with this huge dramatic story, yeah. um, and you were you were covered in the Fight magazine that did a piece on you because of Overboard uh, Long Beach. Um, you literally fled your country, not only your country, you fled your military obligations. You yeah. you left your friends, your family, couldn't even speak English, um, and you left for your own life. Yeah, I did. I. When I'm thinking about my past, even I, di- I don't believe I did all this thing, like left the country, work in Turkey, wait for three years, do paperwork, move to America without English, without family. I moved here with $300, just wow. only $300, Dallas, Texas. I started building life from negative zero, not zero even. So right now I'm here, but I believe you can get really what you want, really. 
if you're nice, you find the good people, you find the good friends around you, safe, secure, nice people. So it always helps. So if you really want it, you do it and this have a price. You have this price. You have to pay this price. N nothing without price. But so. w where does that strength come from? I I mean, I, to leave all of that, hmm. to leave literally a nation where you don't have any clear future. Where did you draw that strength from? Like dream, want it. Like you want to do something. Like even you feel you don't want to do something. Passion, passion, the big one is things in your life. When you have passion for something, you can do it. When you have not, you waste your time. But it is take a long time to realize it. And I was lucky. I realized at a very young age. I said, no, I don't want to live in Iran. I don't want it. I have to go. Was I there a bit of go. fear involved, too? I well, mean, uh, uh, of yeah. course. Because yeah. yeah. well, you could have been killed. You know, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it is about, like, people message me, email me a lot. Hey, I want to go there, be model. I want to go there, be, like, adult. What I have to do? It's not question. Do it. I didn't ask nobody. I just go. I just, yeah. I want just, like, you know, when... When you fall from mountain, you try to grab for anything you see. You don't care what it is. Sharp, rock, whatever. You try to grab it. I love that. So that's that's is so deep. I, I love know. It. God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loving like, Who put the party today? pants on you? <laughs> 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 but that's no. a really good thing. If you're falling off a mountain that you've worked yeah. for to create, you grab on, sometimes yeah. it could be sharp. So, I love that. So when <laughs> I was really wanna you wanna go, you ask people, hey, how I, how I can go? How what is the solution? What do I have to do? You're asking, you know, and you, he you has a lot the, of questions. <laughs> so, of course, yeah. yeah. Which is great, but yeah. he's like he's like he's, he's like a five year old, but an adult, and so he's always asking like, why is it that way, or why can I like, why can only go one way there, or why why does that person do that, or why would they ask me that, or right. it's, everything's a question, but it's it's amazing because he's it's like Rain Man. He's smart, but he just wants to. Yeah. How long have you been here? Almost two years. Well, almost. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. you made it very successful. Yes. Good for you. Yes. Yes. Now, yes. I'm not sure that could happen now with our current administration, which is <laughs> so weird, right? Fuck yeah. Trump. So, <laughs> did you feel that Big Brother type of feeling, like I, you know, I got to watch out for him? And wh why, why a rod from all the other people that you worked with? That did you develop this this real friendship in this entertainment industry and and being even in the gay? community even if you're social and you're not in a limelight you there's a lot of fakeness there's a lot of everything is a you know dime a dozen a grain of salt everybody's <laughs> lying everybody's uh exaggerating everybody's thirty thousand dollar millionaires you feel somebody you know especially in la you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You do, when, you, when you meet somebody you feel their spirit and i've you know i'm a hustler i came from the streets i always say i've been i've been hood a lot longer than i've been pretty you know what i mean and so when you come when you fight for things me too you know what i mean you see somebody's spirit and he didn't speak english all the way but i could feel him you know mm. he was he was he was loyal without even knowing the word loyal he understood he was he wasn't fake cuz he he came with a body and a face but he wasn't out there just like another esl person like okay fuck me i want to fuck he was like no i'm going to do this the right way and you know he could feel is this everything about him and so that's why we became close and then work kind of came after that oh you guys look good together oh we can see your friendship oh it's fun yeah. how you guys are like you know like wolves together always playing together and it's fun and so it became that but his original spirit was what why we're you know it's kind of like that. Now, you guys, uh, in, in the adult uh, entertainment industry, you guys don't fit the typical, you know, white guy. Do you guys have any racism within that industry that you've had to deal with in terms of, well, we're, we're ethnic-ish? People don't like ugly guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're hot. That's what I always say. People are like, what are you? I, you know, I'm Italian, but essentially I'm white, but people always ask what I am. I love the question. Yeah. Hot is hot. You yeah, know what I mean? How is that? Ugly is ugly. So yeah, you so. cannot change nothing. So <laughs> doesn't matter how old is he, how color is if he. If they do say so themselves. Yes. Yeah. So. They won awards, hello. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, say something. So, um, But I don't mind because I like white boys. Can I just say that? <laughs> I, I get, you know, most of my partners are white and I like it. I love a pretty white boy. Um, <laughs> white boys are sexy, but sometimes men start talking. <laughs> Such a turns off, you know. Like yes. Why? Why is yeah. that? Like Nathan yeah, Lane, like, he was a, terrible a in bed. Do they talk like not me, like, like from the country? No, or what? no you're good. You're <laughs> that's <laughs> sexy. You're if somebody good. has yeah, that, that's sexy. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. give it to you. Yeah. That's sexy as fuck. You can say yeah. that to me yeah. anytime. Yeah. You sure do yeah. have a pretty yeah. mouth. Yeah. You sure yeah. got a pretty mouth. <laughs> no, I want you to narrate my voice. You say that again, please. My voice right now is like I'm not here. I want to be like, hey. Oh, oh wow! Oh, wow, it got hotter. In here. You should do a remix of your own voice. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, would you have to say all that? You just had to talk like that. Well, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm just trying to be. 
part of part of the conversation. He's, he's just <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> not too quiet. <laughs> now, Arad, in the, in the bodybuilding um, um, industry, and also uh, Tover. Now, you you are a hip hop dancer. You you dance with a crew. Did you guys have any flack from being a model from from being in the gay culture? Did you have any flack in the bodybuilding world and and in the hip hop world? We always have fun, right? I don't, I don't think I don't think in the dancing world it really matters. This, guy, you know, uh, the when I was younger, it was I was I was I was I used to run the streets and it was real hood. It was I wasn't out all the way, you know. What I mean, I was. Yeah. It was, it was I danced on girls and girls were bitches and, you know, you just that's how you said it. You know, it was just a different day and age, and uh, and so that was a real hard when I wanted to dance on guys or you know like I wanted to be like, I don't Put know, a little flare just, in just it. a little, you know. And I'm not yeah. a, I'm not like a, uh, like. Like overly gay dancer or anything like that, of course. But like, just some things you just want to do because you're a gay boy. You know, say so like, some things straight dudes want to do because they're straight. Some things women want to do because they're oh women. Boy. It is what it is. And so that was a little harder. Nowadays, it's not so hard. Um, but you know, I, there was some of that growing up when hip hop was hip hop. It's love and hip hop, and it was, you know, it was it was love what it was. Hip-hop. You know what I mean? And that's the day and age. I grew up, saved the last dance, and this movies were it was what it was. You know. Uh, this day and age is a little bit different. But. We had a uh, Tony Basil on the show, and she was the '80s uh, queen, mm-hmm. but she was also with the Lockers. She was she was the only white woman with the Lockers, and Pop and Lock. That's that came from her, and she was talking about some of the diversity issues. So, Topher, if you could teach me a hip hop mm-hmm. arm move that would make me look so much cooler on the on the dance floor, I want us all to learn well, this. That. I have oh, no <laughs> idea. You know, Literally, I'm gonna ask me something. I'm so no, lazy, no. but I know. <laughs> I'm not like I'm a hip hop instructor. I just like hip hop dance. Okay, Come like, on, like, Paula. Like, I don't know. I'm that guy in the dance floor because I'm so like I hate you dancing. Dance? I'll have <laughs> yeah. I'll so have you're a lazy standstill dancer. I'm like this. I'm like Ooh, one, two, cha, cha, cha. You mean you're not like <laughs> every now and then? Like I'll dip up. Like did anybody see that? Uh. So what what was an arm type move that I could do on the dance floor that would make me look 100 percent cooler? Because then you're just gonna be repeating a, a one two move for like all night long. Show you know, me. I, I don't show know. Me. I Show us, please. Yes. <laughs> I, would say, I, would say, I would say I would say that people that stand still, you just gotta in and out. If you feel the eat, no, no. eat. Lolo, if show us, please. If you're standing still, there you go. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you can put a little shoulder in it and out. It looks like I'm crocheting beat. with my grandma, and she's no. having me move my shoulder. You'll figure, you'll figure, you'll figure your swag with it. You can do one, you can do two. Could you do one and higher than the other? Yeah, you'll figure it out, but. Look that up and you'll, you'll see Look some that swag. Up. <laughs> you'll, you'll get it's a good upper arm, It'll too. help get you some swagger, yeah. All right, all right. I'm going to get some swag. Everybody, I want everybody to do this. <laughs> you know, the dance floor, just, Anybody you know, know what this is besides me? I know you know what this is, He's right? He's going to be doing it all night long. I'm it, it's the simplest thing, <laughs> but when people are chilling, you know, and it's just, just in and you're out. Tony, like, did you see nails, that, Tony? Check on my nails. Checking check my nails. That's a kind different of move. Checking my nails. <laughs> I, I, lo- I love the only bear that does bear <laughs> parties. Bigger than all of us is just making the most yeah. feminine emoji. Yes. Wow. We have another uh, call. <laughs> okay. Oh, they hung up. Sorry. We were, we were, check, we were check, oh, boo, checking the nails. Wrong checking number. Checking the nails. Checking the nails. Checking so, the Shane, nails. when you sit down to do a music set, I've always wondered, because you're a real DJ. You're not the one that like downloads <laughs> other mixes. Right. No, other people that I know yeah. in West Hollywood, some years. people we download know. other mixes and mix it together and they press play and then <laughs> they pretend all this stuff. You you build your remixes. In fact, you yeah. have a new podcast that's coming out that's yeah. your new uh, remix that you're very proud of. It's uh, one the One Magical Weekend official podcast coming out. Um, I love it already. This week. Yeah, probably at the end of this week. Um, it's, I don't know, it's kind of... Magical. Magical. Name? It you have is a name? totally magical. Yes. So Did you give the name? One Magical Weekend podcast. Oh, yeah. Official. Official. Now, how would you describe your your music? Some some DJs do top top forty. Um, what what's, I mean, what's your style? The the big well, house is a general term. So, but it depends on what you're playing. So, on the East Coast, they like it more cha cha cha, less vocals, like you know, bah, 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 in bah, out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> you know, or like, I love you said cha cha cha. It's such a Latin phrase. If you're at the black party, it might be like that. I don't know. But uh, okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. So a DJ once uh, recently uh, told me that. Uh, so you play house, or whatever, right? Um, and that there are like 50 different subgenres. There's of so many. Uh, really? Yeah. It is. And there's more. There's like new. And ones from like major city to city, tropical that's house, a whole different, and like, like all tropical yeah. house, like all kinds of crazy house, Fantasy like, Island, that's a whole new one. That sounds when I delicious. Started, there was like there was Happy House and <laughs> House and Hard House. That happy was like, House, yeah. There's like Deep House. What is Deep House? Is that like a little bit deep more like grungy? Like, I mean, I always knew there was like maybe a dozen or so, but fifty. 
But well, I play, you know, I'll play a lot less of Less words. You know. So when you're ready to sit down and do a whole new set, you obviously have to think about the event that you're right, doing. Of course. And what the theme is. Right. But how how do you have, like, your foundation five, and then you build up from there? Or is it how it I, inspires you? I... Well, obviously Why are you laughing at my question, Topher? <laughs> if Shane has a, a, a base five songs, he's going to ruin his career now. So he can't answer that question. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, that's not what I mean. But but like when I build like... Right, he's setting you up for failure for now. Right. He has good intentions, but that was... <laughs> I'm here to fail. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm like, here to ruin my career. So that song, that, yes. that one song you got. Yeah, so song. your base ten. Whatever it's the number <laughs> was was going to be bad. It's like, Hotel Nazi and All by Gloria right, Stefan. That's the base. Yeah. What, what is your cha-cha-cha go-to? One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha. No, no, but... But like when I build the cabaret show, you have to do one one crowd pleaser, right. uh, one old song, one new song, and you have your basic foundation that you build right. from. Right. Do you like literally? Do you sketch it out? Do you? I just, I mean, a rod is putting. I, there's, I, I have so much music thrown at me like on a daily he basis. Goes from cute to terrorist very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I thought um, I heard ticking. <laughs> Mm, bum. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you have to think He'll about wake up in 10 minutes. Yeah, so. I almost forgot about the <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> question we were talking about. Um, These ethnics taking jobs away 10, from us white people. 10. He, he's taking my career. Um, no, you, you think about, obviously think about what you're, you're going to play, but I, you know, I have so much music thrown at me every, on a daily basis. I, my email fills up full of you know promos and everything that I have to go through and I just, I find out, uh, obviously, you know what Topher says, you, you have to be relevant. You have to be new. You have to, like, you know, keep it going. But who has time for that? I mean, you obviously have to You have to you make time. Like, like, what's you popular? I mean, even so if you're you listening to, like, top 10 or top 40 no, all the time? Or? No, 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 no. No. So, you know, there'll be a, a good track on the top 40, like, that'll come out, you know, Ariana Grande or something will put out a track that somebody remixes that's hot. So, you know, you just go with that. Um, Our caller is Hello. here. Hello. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hey. Oh, it's Donald Trump. He's so proud of us. I'm Donald Trump. Uh, Hel hello, Collie. You're live on, on the rocks. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have a quick question for Arad. Yes, I'm here. You. <laughs> are you? Are you? <laughs> are you, though? I did. <laughs> okay, Arad, we've seen you in so many adult films and education modeling. We, I just want to know what is next for you. Next for me, I try to make my own website, and start doing my own job and my own brand. All right. Oh, that's amazing. I'm a big fan, just to let you know. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. You can come win-win with Arad. Yeah. You can't just win once. You have to win twice. Right. <laughs> yes. It's a double win. <laughs> you should really put that on there somewhere. <laughs> I know, like Win Squared. Win that, Squared. That's your DJ name. A rock. Yeah. Win Squared. Yeah. 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 Oh, mix it up. We got okay. duo. Shane, I need yes. to know, what does a DJ in this day and age really need? We, you know, we have... Paris Hilton, and she's got all these turntables. Right. What do you... Barf. What, right. Well, that's, They're not that's turned on. She's my... Uh, she's they're my, not even plugged in. What is a DJ is she? must have? Like, what is it that you're using now for, for real? Because well, I, I mean, look and I see all these things, well, and I'm like you know, impressed. You can use computers and everything. I mean, there's so much that, that you have to... That you can learn that it's so easy now to be a DJ. But uh, anybody who, who comes up to me, and I've had this question several times, you know, what do, what do you re recommend to start DJing? And I always tell them, go buy an old-school turntable, buy a mixer and really learn how to play music and really learn how to like create a journey because any any dj can go up and play fucking beyonce and britney and like whatever but if they're not taking you on a journey you're going to notice it right and as dancers you guys know that too you're, yeah. you'll be up there bored as hell you know the crowd feels it you know the crowd I mean? feels it too and you'll see yeah. it empty but yeah. not everybody wants to hear britney and fucking whitney all the time you know like, and you can feel those hiccups yeah. you know when oh, it's not fluid it. yeah. it's like whoa oh, yeah. that, that was kind of like, jarring oh, well that was weird that <laughs> yeah beat, that beat didn't go with the last one you know <laughs> yeah so and yeah. if you don't know it you know, technically, you feel it. It's right, like, of course. Oh, that wasn't yeah. right. Being a DJ is, is so weird in terms, uh, I would imagine, from a club owner, because the club owner wants the patrons to not be in the dance floor. Right. They want them to be at the bar buying drinks. Right. So, yes, they want you to be a good DJ, right. but they still want them to go to the bar every now and then. Like, how do you mix that up? Because I like to go where the music's well, good. I'll still be at the usually, bar. Usually when you work with a promoter, like, they know their crowd, so they'll tell you ahead of time, you know, play more vocals, play more not vocals, whatever. And and it works, you know. You just work with them and be professional, and yeah. And I've always wondered but this. And circuit, make them work. Circuit, you circuit, the money. circuit DJs are different than club DJs totally. because 
So very club, true, so very club true. DJs doesn't it doesn't mm-hmm. matter because people get drink and dance and yada yada about both. But circuits usually the alcohol and consumption is it's down. Be an on and so it's about the music. You want them the, to feel. It's the music and the DJ. So people are there for the DJ and the drinks that might be a bonus. So, That's a really good point. So it's a big step. And most DJs aren't both. And if you can do both, exactly. of course, Thank but you. most don't. So yes. Thank you that's for knowing you're... That. Yes. Thank yeah. you for recognizing that. There's yeah. a lot of people that... Thank and you. we don't like requests. Do right. not... Re- if you're a circuit exactly. DJ... Exactly. If you're a circuit DJ... <laughs> I'm that idiot, though. I'm yeah. like, I, I, I'm do not playing ask me, right. Do not ask me to play Kanye West. <laughs> no. Okay? Does right. it look like I fucking play Kanye yes. West? No. Like, don't no. ask for that, you know? What are some of the other don'ts? Like, even don't, talk to the DJ. Don't stand up to the DJ booth and just stare at me. <laughs> like, I, unless you're sexy. You're well, sexy. But look at you. Or unle- annoying. unless you're mute. I mean, what else do you want them to do? Then cover your face. <laughs> well, they are mute because I can't hear them, but... I have a good amount of DJ friends, and I would say DJs don't that was are the sweetest thing anybody said to me. Today. Don't say hi for a long time. Say hi to your DJ because, and, and then let them be right. the star. Yeah. They don't be like, to "Hi, do. I know you." Oh my God, keep but waving. We're working. Let, wait for them to kiss yeah. you, or or no. do take off their headphones. No, bitch, they know you're there. The lights are on you right. because they're behind the DJ. Yeah. Right. So yeah, yeah. let the DJ be that. Say, say, hey, say your hi and let Sexy it be done. DJ. Well, not only that, it's like we're working. We're not. Yeah. I mean, it may seem like we're up there partying and part of the party, and that's part of our performance. But we're working. We're thinking about the next track. We're thinking right. about how to mix it in. We're thinking about a lot of stuff at once. And it's intense. I mean, you have a room full of a thousand plus people. You have to be on point, you know, or you ain't going to get fucking booked again. So, and also, I have this question. This, this is from a fan. If you are DJing from 10 p.m. till 3 in the morning, you don't want to play all your good stuff at the beginning, but you also don't want the people that show well, up have at a lot 10 of good stuff, so. to, to leave so good answer how yeah. don't have bad music i have oh, a lot right. of good stuff all I mean, is good all is good here, stuff. here's the thing here's the thing you you here's the thing you i, I <laughs> when it, when he chimes in though it's just you can't it's amazing i know I yes I, I i'm ready to go whatever church he establishes i'm the house of arad <laughs> yeah oh, Bin squared house yes still house of arad yeah. that's oh my gosh. Yes. um no but as, uh, like, i have the apartment of alexander in the beginning of the night you know <laughs> All these houses. He has the he has the Nissan version. The studio. (laughs) (laughs) He couldn't he couldn't get the Audi. Bitches, I still have the lift mustache in the front. (laughs) No, but I mean, at the beginning of the night, you want to get the groove going. You know, you want to get people on the dance floor. You obviously want to play things that people know. You know, they're like, "Ooh, I know that song. I'm going to go to the dance floor and dance." You know. And then once you get, but you're also telling a story for like four hours. Yeah, once you get them there, well, the longest I played one time was twelve hours, and it was crazy. You know, the oh. other DJ never showed up, and I had to. Did play you get party. breaks? Yeah, this was Denver Pride. Of course. Well, 12 I, hours? I had a, I had Double a, payment? You had a I had a Denver pit, Pride's like the third pitcher. biggest in the country. What? I had a pitch. Yeah, yeah, it, my it toilet, my yeah, toilet yeah, was yeah. a pitcher. My toilet was a pitcher. No. Yeah, and that I probably turned on, on half your audience. But They're I had like, a good time, girl. I, I, good know. payment. Twelve had some hours. Fun. Yeah, how much was that payment? Yeah. Well, 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 well. <laughs> it was good. Oh, there's a yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> um, another fan question we got. Um, this is for you both. You guys have worn outfits all over the place, from the Andrew Christian shoots to to the films. You've done parody films. Um, has there ever been uh, like somebody says, "Hey, we want you to wear this," and you're like, "No." All the time. <laughs> Like, like what? No, like, I give it away. Anybody ask? Okay, go have it. But he, he, you're I a give. trooper, though. A rather trooper. He'll still wear it. I've seen some of your yeah, outfits. Yeah. You look like a Vegas showgirl in one yeah, of them. Yeah, he's a trooper. Because he, he's a, one, he's sweet. Two, he go-go dances. So a lot of his outfits are already crazy. So he's down. I just say no. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I just, I, I have to keep a brand. You know what I mean? I can't, even if I'm getting paid, it's not worth the end result of one shoot or one appearance to wear that because you think it's cute or whatever. So whatever your brand is and uh, I um, I just keep my brand, you know what I mean. Everything's so. good look on me though, so. <laughs> yeah, see, and then there's that. Oh, yeah. that's the perfect. Oh. Yeah. We gotta hang out for. You a look like no. Mother Superior. Uh, no. um, actually, Topher, one time you were not looking on point. We have a picture. Oh, You're no. oh. Oh. Didn't say how he's Let's thinking. talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yeah, he loves <laughs> this part too. You we have a picture where your socks don't match. <laughs> 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 oh, sh- <laughs> F- funny thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we're, we're gonna come back to it. Oh, um, <laughs> no, literally. Yeah, there, there okay, no but this is from one of your fans. This is how closely your oh, fans. Oh, I know. You have no idea. Because I'm like, who's looking at somebody's socks when you have these bodies? So on on sets, we have people that here. Here it is. Your, your socks everywhere. are not matching. <laughs> oh, I know. That's with a. That's what, who is that with? A, is that right? What's yeah, going on? Lot. They don't only not match. <laughs> they're so far I apart. I meant to do that. <laughs> what yes, happened? Oh, so one thing you, people don't know about me, if, if you ever ask questions, all my socks never match. 
Oh, is, is so that every your day, thing? all okay. the time, and I have them in packages, and I buy them. They're similar, six, twelve what? packs from uh, like uh, Zara, wherever I find them. Uh, Nike, blah blah blah. And I just throw them in, and I literally just pick two socks, not like <laughs> a tall it. sock and a low sock, but yeah. something like that. Okay. At least in my mind, socks it, are the least it, of your problems, it, right? And it's just yeah. something I just do because I'm always on point. My I'm, my hair, my face. I'm, yeah, socks, socks are well, cute. Though. Socks is yeah, and I've just done it for years. Yeah. It was kind of an accident, you know, because I didn't want to put nobody wants to put socks together, and then I was like, oh, this is cute, and nobody, and of course, now people look at my socks. But besides that one person in the show, <laughs> and you don't want to have fun, boring socks. Exactly, it's just a fun for And all my socks, are, you have cool socks. All my socks are weird. Yeah. You know? Cool socks. Yeah. Well, you're a top. It's not like your legs are up in there. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, look at my socks. Yeah, we, awesome. got, we got this question literally for, uh, for all three of you guys in different okay. versions, but I'm going to put it this way. You guys look the same in all of your pictures in terms of that you guys are on point all the time. How often do you guys go for a haircut, and how do you know when you need every a haircut? Week. Every week? No, I almost every week. twice two, a week. Because you guys are One very time short clipped. Two times a week. Two, two yeah. times a week. Two wow. times a week. So I get That's a haircut. Commitment. Two week, one time. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I do. Well, I, I, I cut my hair time. once a week, and then in between, in between, oh. I line myself up. Do yeah. they give you guys like a break? Because it's like I'm. I'm I, I think say, no, nobody else understands what I'm talking about than all the people. But yes, my my lineup stays on point. So I'll cut my hair every week. But this lineup, I do every four days. You and, have to, and it's and I tweeze it out. And every you, day, do tweeze, you do that? Tweeze and raise it. We don't see those on Instagram. Yeah. So, but it stays on point because that's how I. This is my look. You know what I mean? So this, my part never changes. My sideburns never change. Yada yada yada. So that has to. St- if you get a shadow nastiness over here, then it then looks out the window. You know what I mean? And fans are vicious. You know, exactly. fans, fans, are fans care. They are. They'll be like, uh, looking like a mess. And I'm like, fans yeah. care. <laughs> looking like a mess. It's like, girl, you live in a trailer. Yeah. I know. Like I'm like, fans like you, like you, fresh, clean cut. Yeah. Sexy guy. <laughs> This looks very sexy, by the way. <laughs> Still, so hot. shit on his head. So hot. All right, we do our uh, on the rocks rapid fire. Who wants to go first? Silly questions you just answer. Just boom, boom, boom. I think Ooh. me. me? Uh, okay, I'll go. We'll just go this way. Yeah. yeah. We'll go. Uh, your celebrity crush. Paul Walker. Why? Why is this so quiet? It's so hot. <laughs> do, you ever, do you have a replacement? If he were to walk in now, you drop dead. I know. I know. But he's. Oh. Okay, so that's your style. Yeah. Blonde, can't yeah. act, blue eyes. Oh, <laughs> man. But, Dead. But, but rich. Okay, <laughs> got it. Got it. The most embarrassing song on your playlist that if we knew, you'd be like, oh, God. Oh, man. Nothing. To give I you a point know. of reference, mine is Mbop. Pro- probably Juju on that beat because I learned it. I learned it late. And I'm all about the juju on the beat. And it's all they say in a song. <laughs> and it's like a minute long. But I'm like, juju on it. And I'm at the, and it gets me going. I'm like, okay, it's gone. But, and then it's, I'm, but, but so tomorrow, probably that one. Tomorrow you're going to get all this fan art of you and like <laughs> <laughs> colored pencils with, juju you know, on the beat. Juju on the beat. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of into it. <laughs> Your guys' fan art is funny because there's some really good fan art. You, both and you some guys really have. bad So it's like, fan wow, did he have a stroke? Like, what's happening? Topher, your binge food. Pizza. Oh, yes. Pizza, pizza. Any kind of pizza, anytime. Fresh so, yes. what are your toppings? This is like a, <laughs> this is a three beat question. Chicken and pepperoni. Chicken on a pizza? Oh, because you guys are into protein and uh, chicken on a pro chicken pepperoni. Did you want to be no cheese, thin crust? Okay, thin crust. Mm-hmm. No cheese. You're Italian. Yeah, mm. it's like but I eat. I literally eat pizza five days a week. So Ew. I hate I can't. I can't. So I can't, I can't right just now. do regular. I do regular pizza too. But I can't even walk by a pizza restaurant and then I gain a pound. Uh, what is? Uh, you must walk by a lot of restaurants. You. Uh, how many cameras are actually on you? Oh, you know they add ten pounds each. So. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't say. It. What I heard was Rapid true. Fire for anyway. You. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Topher. In your mind, who is the most overrated actor in Hollywood right now? <sighs> I'm so bad with mainstream actors and actresses. Just uh, like when you see them, you're like, oh, God, really? Gigi Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know she... Uh, Does she act? I love Gigi. Okay. She, just she was very <laughs> sweet, but okay. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> um, people, I, enough, of, enough people that I know are watching, so this is a little bit for me, too. Uh, a fashion <laughs> fad that you <laughs> fell victim to, a, a fashion fad that you fell victim to that you look back and you're like, why did I wear that? Uh, p- plaid. <laughs> like, plaid is supposed to be coming back though. It's a bear in the thing. new Mark Jacobs. It's it's now, but now it is a bear grr. thing. You're very right. <laughs> it's a bear thing. And lace. Mm. So anti plaid. Well, I, li- I like the thick. I like the thick plaid. So do I. Oh, 
plot. Just, well, like somebody could have a picnic on you. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Like I like the. Uh, a rod? <laughs> are you prepared for this rapid fire? Yeah. Do you know where you are? Somebody poke him. <laughs> for once, he's gonna be poked on camera. Um, a rod. Yes. Who is your celebrity crush? Johnny Depp. Oh, Johnny Depp. Yeah. Oh, that's wow, sweet. That's cool. Great. He hasn't aged in how many years? Seriously. Like that's creepy. Right. He still looks as amazing as he did in Nightmare on Elm like Street. And Gilbert Grape. Yeah, and Gilbert Grape. Oh. Yeah. That movie was so weird for me because Leonardo DiCaprio, he's mine. And Johnny Depp, all this hotness and all this sadness, and he was like twelve in that. Going on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> not in twelve year olds. Hello. <laughs> Next question. Uh, Arad, your uh, dressing room must haves that you you just have to have in your dressing room, whether it's a photo shoot, uh, a filming scene. He's definitely not going to understand that question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I called it. <laughs> Ask it again. So, what what does he usually bring to uh, with him? What do you like to wear? No, 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 so no, no! Like, like you're like, like mine. I always have to vodka, and I have to. We, have we have blunts. Well, we no, have joints. Yeah. We have. Okay. Yeah. I have yeah. my, my personal care bag. You, you have so, your personal. You know. weed so what's bag. what's in your personal care bag? Yeah. Like blunts and joints. I don't know. Blunts hair gel, <laughs> some moisturizer, cologne, deodorant. That's it. Not, I'm not too much. Okay. Yeah. So easy. Okay. Going. All right. Who was an actor, like a Hollywood actor, that you got cast in, and like you have to do uh, like a romantic scene with, and an actor you'd be like, no, I cannot. Do you know Deep? No, who's somebody you can't? I that you'd be like, joke. cannot. I don't find him romantic. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you just find him sexually, yeah. not romantic? Oh. Yeah. So who's your romantic actor? <laughs> Helen Mirren. <laughs> 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 She's so romantic, you guys. Mel Street. Mel Street. All right, if I were to give you $100,000 right now, okay. and you had to Which? spend it and once, what would you be buying? My mom go. Oh, oh, you guys. He's a lover, though, yes. I love that. Oh, He's a lover. Yeah. You guys. Yes. If you had to audition for The Voice, what would your song be? Wait, what's my <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You'd be yodeling <laughs> in Arabic. Deep. No, no, in the Rolling Deep. Adelaide. Rolling in the Deep, oh, yes. He swears. <laughs> now he's just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You guys, he's just so revealing. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Shane Steele. Yes. Like, oh, oh, Sean, Sean Connery, yes. Shane Steele. Yes. Uh, boxers or briefs? Uh, and I actually, this is from the briefs. fans. Really? Yep. Yeah. Boxers. I'm not straight. <laughs> hmm. uh, your celebrity crush. I need some support. Well, yes, we know that. <laughs> Show us, anyway, show us, your celeb- show us, show <laughs> us, show us. Look at his Instagram, that's like, we need show a more us. there. <laughs> your celebrity crush, but it has to be an actor who's played a superhero. Me. That's oh. a twist on that. Um, the guy Actually, who, you did play no, a superhero. Uh, Topher DiMaggio. No, the, guy who, the guy who played um, um, Silver Surfer in... Oh X-Men. my God! You're the only other person because because his, he has a oh. bubble and he had like a he had, well he had like a three a mi- like a three second oh. scene but I was like ooh who is that oh there he goes but he was like the rest of them was like well, you're the hot. only other wait who God, we need to hang up Silver Surfer oh did he Silver Surfer yeah. oh yeah. yeah yeah but in one but you of never them see his was, face right yeah. no perfect. well you do a little perfect. bit perfect he's like right. running with the kid and like, yeah. yeah you guys I'm a blouse I'm a feminine <laughs> top okay um a song you play but you hate oh oh love them. <laughs> they, You're so supportive. Re- so that. repetitive. <laughs> um, I don't ever play a song I hate. No, but there's a song I don't want to like, play okay. things that I hate. Yeah, but if you know the crowd's gonna go for it, like what's the song? You're like, uh, oh, okay, it's right. not my favorite. Like Britney. Ah, I'm there with him. I'm not a Britney fan. No. I'm not a Britney fan, but work, bitch, is yeah, so it's cool. Works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Although the I Oracle is oh, so no, no, Although I do have a great remix of uh, Toxic. Uh, mashed up with Peter Rahoffer's, um, fuck, and people are gonna kill me because I can't remember. But it's a it's a great re- mashup. Topher, help that. him. <laughs> We're almost done. Just hang in there, sweetie. Hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> At my last cabaret, I did uh, a mashup of uh, Dolly Parton's Nine to Five and Britney Spears' Work Bitch. Oh, that's. I know you were interested. Working in that. nine to five. What work, a way to make work, a living. Work, yes. Yeah. The last TV show that you binge watched. Feud. Okay. Betty and Joan. Of I course. Mean, it was fuck. great. It was, it was great. Amazing. Uh, your most embarrassing high school moment. Oh, my God. I was such a nerd in high school. I, so so let me just tell I you. I find that really hard but to No, believe. no, just really quick. Although I couldn't find any high school pictures of you because, you guys, I do a lot of research for the show. 
Couldn't find much on you. Couldn't find much on you. I, 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 um, That's what when I was growing up, like my body did not grow, but my nose did. <laughs> So like, you don't I even have a big nose. Though. Well, not anymore. But I, I had. You grew into it. With I'm like, <laughs> wait, hello. Like, wait, no, you no, had my your nose, cheeks my back nose, to your nose. My like nose was this big, and then like I had like this small body, and like everyone just called and me big nose, and it was just embarrassing. Aww. They called me big nose, but I stopped. yeah, big nose. <laughs> All right, yeah. all right, you guys. That's this okay. has been so much fun. Yeah, we're gonna end the show. Yes. Uh Charlene Modest is gonna come, Modest. and we're all gonna sing. She's gonna teach us the words. Modest, but Modest. real fast, I want us to go around. Um, you guys are featured. Andrew Christian has been on the show many times. Um, his his new artistic book, Sex, Power, Freedom, which he signed. You guys are gonna sign before you leave, right? Of yeah, course. absolutely. You guys are featured in some really beautiful shots. Thank you. Where can our listeners find you? Um, at thetofodimaggio.com, my website. The Your website's really good, by the way. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it is really good. The, the, I have to say. Yes, Jenny Bonnie Designs, which you can find at the bottom of the website. She is amazing. Great. Um, uh, yeah, social media. Same. But your Twitter has two O's at the end. It's like Topher you, Dimaggio. You, 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 oh, you know, oh, do you know why that is? Oh, the oh, person oh, that oh, got oh, my oh, name. Oh, oh, oh. They used to do this. They get your name. They don't give it up to you. What? Uh, oh, you have to pay. That's so and stupid. And I said, I said, so what? And I said, I put another O on it. I'm not going to do the whole drama. And the other thing is, I don't, I'm not sure who this person is, but they don't post bad things. And so although they won't take they it down, the traffic. they're actually helping me. And it's, it's never anything negative. And I watch it, of course. But so I'm like, you know what? Keep it at this day and age. I'm not going to fight over it. You're not hurting me. Um, I'm sure you are getting crazy amounts of DMs and yeah. good for you, bitch. But, uh, you but know, your so, actual is Topher Damaji. Uh-oh. Uh, with two O's. But, um, yeah, all the good cum shots on there. <laughs> End of show. Yeah. Yeah. She walks away. Squirt. Uh, Rod, Squirt. Where, where can our fans find you? Number one, I, I want to point uh, our listeners to read the article in the fight because it was a really great totally. article. Very good article. Um, yeah. And thank it was you. it was about your struggle. You yeah, know, that's you. not to be taken lightly. And the guys from the fight are amazing. And a beautiful so. merman. Yeah, it was really yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Number one, why do we find merman <laughs> attractive? I d- there's no butt. There's no front. I want yeah. a merman. Do you really? You wouldn't be able to do anything with them well, but like well, slap like them in the have, face. Have when they get on, plot, when they get on Earth, they lose their, their yeah. It's like it's like Ariel. Oh, so they have to go on Earth and they can't talk. So like earth. then they become land, boring. Land, then you land. have to buy them. Oh. Land, land, not Earth. They're already really capo. Really capo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Works two ways, girl. Oh. Arad, where can our listeners of uh, fo- follow you? Mine is Arad Vinvin on Instagram, Facebook, Facebook page. Great. And hopefully soon his website's coming out. Great. Can you translate, Topher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't your is a Rod Winwin new? Yes. It? Yes. Yeah. It's a Rod Winwin new, um, because he has drama on the Insty. On yeah. the Insty. Everywhere. So, yeah. yeah. All's cool. Great. I hope you have a ride home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shane Steele. Yes. Yeah. 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 Where can our listeners find you, and where can they listen to your new podcast? Um, at DJ Shane Steele on um, Instagram, Shane Steele on Facebook, uh, on SoundCloud, uh, Shane Steele. Um, I have some amazing gigs coming up. Uh, I'll be in Chicago for IML. Um, doing my fifth year, fifth year anniversary. Ditto. Then you're going to be at my party. Ditto. Fifth year anniversary at Hydrate of Strapped. Um, one magical weekend coming up. Um, Toronto, Fire Island, all kinds of good things coming up. So, yeah. And also I want to shout out to Scruff, the guys from Scruff, for uh, uh, everything they do. Uh, Joey, Johnny, everybody at Scruff, we love you. So, They should be a sponsor of the show. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much. Thank and you. also the three of, or the four of us will be Long Beach overboard. Yes, Who knows? Saturday. With Joe Pisano, who's one in the house the right now. Joe Pisano, the top promoter the in Long one. Beach. Yep. But you guys are going to be meeting Hosting, and green. You're going to yeah. be spinning. And, and literally, my only job is to be drinking. Yeah. Wah, wah. And maybe live streaming. So we're and all he'll do it well. Yes. <laughs> Michael Vega, where can I listen to find you? Uh, Michael Vega. Behind the bar, at- pouring drinks. Allegedly. It's not doubles. So. Allegedly. Michael Vega Act, because Maybe I'm an so. actor. So Michael Vega ACT on Twitter, Instagram, and Michael Vega on Facebook. And I usually keep it updated. Awesome. <laughs> um, you can find On The Rocks on air, uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, and you have uh, a reading on Sunday. Oh, yeah. This just came up on the walkover. So reading it's, is uh, fundamental. It's a, it's a stage reading, the sixth oh, the annual, sixth <laughs> annual uh, female playwrights on stage festival. Uh, just go to my Facebook page and if you want to come see a stage reading. Cool. Awesome. And we love UBN. Tony Sweet, the owner here, has been our engineer. We miss Kurt. Uh, you, Tony, where can people follow UBN? UBNRadio.com. UBN we are finishing the night with my friend Charlene Modest. Yes. You guys, we're all Ooh. going to get into this. 
So she did a mm. dance version. In fact, I would love for you to hear this and see. Um, but she's going to give us the acoustic version, and we're all going to sing. The words are very simple. It's... Okay. It's come on if you want to, and I know you're going to want to. Show me how you're going to want to. Come on if you're going to want to. Come on. Ooh, come on, I want to. That's almost like a Is Hawaiian right? Somebody there. text me that real fast. Yeah. Come on, I want to so lay ya. Come on Woo. if you want to, and I know you're going to want to. Show me how you're going to want to. Come on if you're going to want to. Come on. Yep. Show me yes. if you want to, and I know you're going to want to. Show me how you're going to want to. Come on if you want to. Come on. Yeah, you'll catch on. Girl, Chime in whenever bring us home. <laughs> She's bringing us home. Thank you to our listeners. Uh, we have some great guests coming up. We have Don Wells, who played Marianne in Gilligan's Island. <laughs> we have John Berriman uh, from Doctor Who. Um, and uh, oh, we have a surprise guest. Anyway, Charlene, take us home. All right, here we go, y'all. So you say you want to take me there Through the city lights unto the scene Where we can dance with out of care Come in closer and show me what you mean I might say yes or change my mind I'm curious to know your kind I think you're fly, you think I'm hot Tonight's the night you get your shot you get your shot I'm giving you a shot I'm giving you a shot Hey, come on if you want And I know you're gonna wanna show me How you're gonna wanna come on If you're gonna wanna come on Come on if you wanna And I know you're gonna wanna show me How you're gonna wanna come on If you're gonna wanna come on Come on I'm trying to do harmony here. It's not working. Oh, yeah. Topher, I'm doing in and out. Hear the sound. Let the rhythm move you around. Me in this dance. Take a chance. It might lead to a little romance here on the floor. Give me more. This dance is ease. Music's the cure. As we sweat in this vet. All the glow and dripping wet. Please turn me loose. Watch me shine and come in close. Take your time. Step by step. Turn by turn. If you want to teach and I want to learn how to ride this groove. As we move. Sometimes it's one. Sometimes it's two. Hip to hip. Side to side. Let's make this dance. Magic ride. Eye to eye. Toe to toe. Come on. And show me what you know Enchanted by the rhythm spell We come together and fit so well Eyes like and stare A mood appears Music's the magic in the air Yes Music's the magic in the air Ooh, Coming if you wanna And I know you're gonna wanna show me How you're gonna wanna come And if you're gonna wanna come on Coming if you wanna And I know you're gonna wanna show me How you're gonna wanna come And if you're gonna wanna come on Come on if you wanna, and I know you're gonna wanna show me how you're gonna wanna come on if you're gonna wanna come on, come on. Come on if you wanna, and I know you're gonna wanna show me how you're gonna wanna come on if you're gonna wanna come on, come on. Are you ready to get out of here? The night is young and I feel the need to slide. Ooh. Toss the caution, take my double dare. Rev your engine and take me for a ride I might say yes or change my mind I'm curious to know your kind I think you're fly, you think I'm hot Tonight's the night, you get your shot You get your shot I'm giving you a shot you gonna take it or what? Yeah. Ooh la la. Hey, 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 come on if you wanna, and I know you're gonna wanna show me how you're gonna wanna come on if you're gonna wanna come on. Come on if you wanna, and I know you're gonna wanna show me how you're gonna wanna come on if you're gonna wanna come on. Come on if you wanna, and I know you're gonna wanna show me how you're gonna wanna come on if you're gonna wanna come on. Come on. Come on, you want to show me how you're gonna wanna come on. Come on, 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 come on
Come on, you gonna wanna come on, you gonna wanna come on. Come on, you wanna wanna come on, you gonna wanna come on. Come on, you wanna wanna come on, you gonna wanna come on. Come on, you gonna wanna come on, you gonna wanna come on. Come on, you gonna wanna show me how you gonna wanna come on if you gonna wanna come on. Come on, come on. Charlene, where can our listeners listen to you? Wow. You can find me on Facebook for now. Oh, I'm okay. I'm low key. I'm low key. I'm I'm in my healing phase, right? So baby um, craving not, not to not to be confused with superhero low key, but she's yeah. like low yes. key girl. Low key. Low so key. you guys, uh, the dance dance version is coming soon. Yes. Thank you, everybody. We love you. Thank you be out, everybody. You. Thank Adios. you. Bye. Adios, mios. This has been On the Rocks with Alexander. Every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on Universal Broadcasting Network. Find me on Facebook on On the Rocks Radio Show. Tweet me or Instagram me at On The Rocks On Air. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs>